Hey HDQ, just a quick thank you and shout out to everyone who makes this event always so enjoyable. Good luck to all the runners. Also, happy birthday, April. Donation goes to announcer's choice. We have $10 from Avastep. As a cancer survivor myself, I just have to donate what little I can. Keep up the good work. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me this whole event. I'm off to enjoy the rest of my birthday, and I'll be handing it over to Big John here in just a minute. What is up, everyone? Welcome back, or if you never left, you're still here enjoying Awesome Games Done Quick 2018. I am your host, GameJ06, better known as Big John, and I will be your tour guide through the fantastic exposition demonstration event of Super Mario Galaxy performed by 360 Chrism Any Percent. Remember, we still have a war going on between the character he will play as. We still got a little bit, and <laughs> last time I was here, there was a pretty big snipe. So, uh, of course, there is a, uh, a war between Mario versus Luigi. Right now, Luigi has $3,597.51, obviously the better brother. But for you Mario lovers, you want to get him before this guy gets set up and going. He's at $424.71, so quite a ways behind, but hey, You've seen how this event goes. We might just have another snipe. In the meantime, before we get going with this, let's read some of your donations, shall we? Uh, following up from the last run, we got Bam Flex. Bam Flex was $75. It had to make doing that Jack and Dexter run. One of my favorite childhood games and the first game that I ever got 100%. Since cancer has taken a family friend of mine and my grandma is currently fighting it, thank you to everyone involved in AGQ. You all are doing amazing work. We've got uh, Spamus with uh, $50. Since I watched recordings of HQ for the past couple of years, but this is my first time watching live, so I had to donate during one of my favorite childhood games, Jack and Dexter. 
Like so many others, this cause is very near to me. My mother has been diagnosed with her with and has been beaten cancer three times in part to early detection. This is an awesome event and awesome commentary. Keep up the great work. Third awesome Ballard Hunter says, good morning, everyone. Everyone excited for Jack and Dexter? Keep up the great work. $20 from Anonymous. Even if the crowd isn't listening to you, Twitch Chatty is. You the man, Bob. Yo, Luigi's still winning by the way, 3,500. Man, 3,000 on his, on his red brother. We've got $50 from Anonymous. This hopefully gets us closer to getting a successful event. Then maybe Snit can get some sleep. Pretty sure he hasn't slept all week. And uh, just to give you some FYI, you know, we have a lot of things coming up. We still have, uh, you know, uh, Super Monkey Ball uh, was met. We've got a Super Monkey Ball task run come up a little bit later. And, of course, uh, this evening, if you don't know, for some reason, if you've been out of the loop, we do have that, <laughs> what I'm really looking forward to, that Mega Man relay race. You're going to see 12 of the best players, three teams of four. Or is it four teams of three? Uh, math is hurts. Four teams of three duking it out between Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, and Mega Man 3. If you missed this, you should be feeling shameful for yourself. Make sure you watch it live. Catch that VOD. That's coming up tonight. Check games.quick.com. Click on the schedule so you can see exactly what time it would be for you. All righty. Don't miss it. If you miss it, I'm going to find you. We got $20 from Robert. GDQ is one of the greatest examples of what good gamers can do. Thank you to all the crew working every day to make this work, to the runners showing amazing and fun games, and to all the hosts, <laughs> like me, that make it even more interesting. Let's beat cancer once and for all. Since it's April's birthday, donation goes to her choice. Happy birthday, April. Happy birthday to you. We've got $52 from Ruh. Says, hello, Josh and Couch. Hello, fellow Jack Runners in the chat. I've lost three grandparents and an uncle-in-law to cancer so far. So how about we defeat cancer and leave it trapped in the dark echo silo for good? Also, someone for Mike should definitely do a vocal impression of Jack doing a boosted PS. Six Rock wanted me to see. Remember, if you get a 56, Six Rock owes you a burger. I wonder if the GDQ chat is ready for the Super Mario Galaxy run coming up soon. Where's the chat at? You all awake? We have $10 from Anonymous. A guy goes into a library and goes straight up to the desk and asks the librarian, can I get a pepperoni pizza? The librarian looks a little confused and says, sir, this is a library. And the guy goes, oh, sorry. And then says, announcer, whisper this line. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to read that part. Can I get a pepperoni pizza? I'm not good at this stuff. Man. $10 from my guest is 5612. Good luck on the run, Josh. Why are you going to give me what you promised for winning, Kappa? Chat, please don't stand Kappas. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it, dang it. $10.80 from Straw What? Says, thanks to everyone for this great event. Love to all the runners and the people working on the event. We got $35 from Sweet Toast. It says, hi, I wish Chrism success on his run. You know, he's about to show you all. We got a nice lengthy run here because he's going to be doing Super Mario Galaxy 1 for the Wii, any percent style. So, uh, And right now it's going to be Luigi style because uh, Luigi is still winning by hmm, just about $3,200, just behind this Mario with a paltry $424. Man, no one's loving Red Mario, and I can't blame you one bit. So, again, make sure if you haven't already, we have a lot of stuff coming up. Make sure you check uh, GDQ, GamesDoneQuick.com website for all those good things. Again, we still have some of those prizes available. And, of course, if you've been out the loop and you want a chance to win an eighth-generation console bundle, we're talking about, like, what, like a, what, a Dreamcast? No, that's the wrong generation, isn't it? What you got, like a P uh, Man, give me a Dreamcast, a Nomad, <laughs> old-school Game Boy. On Atari 2700. No, we ain't got none of that stuff. You're not going to eBay for that. <laughs> we got a PS4. We've got the Xbox One and a Nintendo Switch. So if you want a chance to win that stuff and be the envy of your town, make sure you have put your donations toward that. Total of cumulative $150 across the entire event. So a little about $20 there, $30 here. And uh, $150 would give you that chance to win that. 
unless I don't win it first myself. And of course, we've got a sketchbook from LLK, $30 for that one, as well as the Friends HDQ banner, $50 as well. Also, don't forget, we have a lot of file names coming up. We've got Kingdom Hearts character names for Pokemon Black, White 2. Check out those and send those on the tracker there. We also, of course, we have that punch out. If you want to see the man, Zallard, doing punch out, we're talking about two games, one controller. Not one game, two controllers, but two games simultaneously. Punch out and super punch out. I mean, you know him. You know, you've seen Zallard the past. You think he's show his skills at this, so make sure you check it out. All right. So we are ready to get this going. Um, I need some hype in this audience. I know it's not a lot of y'all in here, but wake up, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Chrism, take it away, man. 80% Super Mario Galaxy as Luigi is yes. the winner of the uh, yeah. character awards. So let's get it. Let's go. Luigi boys. <laughs> Luigi boys. <laughs> what what is very that happy. Me? Very happy <laughs> that Luigi was the one. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to start a countdown, okay? Okay, three. Two, one, go. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, um, I usually always run Luigi and never Mario, so I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm really happy that this happened. And I really wanted to say the differences um, because I, I didn't actually get to say them ever. Um, I don't think. So for the Mario run, we have to watch the the first intro cutscene, which can be. A good thing for for the marathon run, like a fun fun cutscene. Um, but with Mario, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of tricks because they're either Luigi only, or <laughs> I only know how to do them with Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, the overall the run is a bit cooler with Luigi, I would say. Um, but Mario has never been shown before, <laughs> and that will continue. <laughs> All right, so bunnies, oh no. maybe the hardest part of the entire run. It's actually very difficult to catch them right away. Catching these stupid bunnies. Especially when I'm like not at my home setup and I can't can't aim the star bits as I usually do. Very but nice. it's, it's okay, it's okay. And yeah, I also want to introduce everyone on the couch. Um, we got Spike to my right. We got uh, in the center. We got pants. Yo. And on the left side, we got shenanigans. Hello there. Oh, uh, we're getting them stuck. Oh, yeah, we go. were. Nice. And yeah, Spike. Spike does uh, Mario speedruns, Kingdom Hearts, Rayman. Uh, Pants speedruns like everything, but he's not good at any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, he has no, done no, a Breath of the Wild 100% run. <laughs> he's great. I had to fire nice. shots at least once. And Shen I'll plays back. mostly Pokemon speedruns. Uh, he's my, my randomizer buddy. So Have you ever played this game? Never seen it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Shen is the only one that's not like running the game. So I thought I'd get one one that doesn't run the game on the couch. So we I'm the hype man. Yeah, so. maybe some questions. Are you pretty hype right now? Oh, yeah. Nine uh -huh. in the morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect time. It's way too early. Uh. <laughs> So glad I'm back at uh, GDQ. Last run I did was uh, this one as well, two years ago. Same category. So my goal today is to uh, to beat that time from two years ago, and uh, hopefully now we can do that. Also, uh, for every death, I will donate ten dollars to the charity myself. Yo. So we have at least a reason to cheer when I die. Yo, I'll match that. Let's do it. Let's go. I could ruin Spike's life with this one. <laughs> Dang, dude, I'm sorry I agreed to that. <laughs> I might just head on to death. As soon as he's one or two in, just back out. At the end, I'll just kill myself 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so welcome to the Super Mario Luigi Galaxy run. So are there any differences between Mario and Luigi? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of differences. Just uh, once again, like he said, you skip the opening like five minute cutscene, but uh, so Luigi has a higher top speed, and uh, he can jump higher and everything, which makes a lot of the skips in this game just much more manageable. Mario can do almost everything Luigi can, but they're usually much, 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 much more difficult. Much. Okay. Um, but the trade-off is also that Luigi basically has ice physics that Mario doesn't, so that also, that's your trade-off, that it can make those aspects a lot more difficult. Yeah, Luigi's very slippery. He, start, he takes a bit longer to accelerate. And when you stop, he slides a little bit, but it's it's very minor. 
Luigi also loses more air uh, underwater, but it's not a big deal since we're going fast. Yeah, in any percent, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, in 120 star, it actually is quite quite a pain. It can be scary. Uh, yeah. Tight trick right here. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, that's a, that's a yeah. you have a free, few frames to jump here, and you can skip a cutscene, and it saves like 15 seconds. Yeah, it's actually a huge cutscene that you skip over of that Luma talking to you. There's another one coming up here. It only saves a few seconds, but it's still nice to get. Yeah, you want to avoid this Luma right here. So we walk like just around it. Nice. So Good routing. So we don't talk about him. Oh, I, I, I got a first frame spin there. That's uh, unfortunate. Unless I jump right away, then it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, yeah, good enough. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Yeah, the bunnies can be a pain. You, that's, but it's like the first thing you do, so it's, it's it's not a big deal. You can just reset and try again. Yeah, the speedrun might sometimes when people first start watching. You know, you're obviously used to stuff like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, now even Mario Odyssey, um, and it might seem like oh, the like the movements maybe like a little overly simple or something. The movement in this game is actually really really hard to do really really well. <laughs> it's, I think that's the same with every game. It's yes. I think this game is a bit easier to get into right away, but to get on top level is just as hard as any other game. Yeah. Actually, just think about like some of those plants he had to move around where, yeah, the gravity and the camera perspective is constantly changing. Oh, yeah. Having good movement through there can make a difference between like 10 minutes of worth of time over the course of uh, a few hours of gameplay here. On very, very small planets, uh, if you land on them and you keep holding the direction you landed on, <laughs> He'll just run in a circle, even though you just hold one direction. <laughs> it's actually kind of different, too, because you have the motion controls of the Wii. Yeah. So on top of everything else, you know, some of that gets in there. Oh, also, uh, one thing I know a lot of people don't like in the, in the community, but I'm playing on English again. And uh, playing the game in Japanese saves text, like a minute of text. But I, I wanted to kept keep it in English again for the story. For, for story, yeah. you know, GDQ The lore. Story. All the lore. Some of uh, still the uh, maybe the best soundtrack in the Mario series. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely part of why I like to run it. Hey, Chrism. Yeah. We got fifty dollars and two cents from the worm who says <laughs> if you get Honey Half Skip first try, he'll donate another fifty dollars. Ooh. Yeah, Worm's a uh, very old school Galaxy Runner, one of the first uh, I met in the community. Thank you, Worm. I'll try my best. Yeah, this is a trick. Or I mean, it's not coming up right now, but uh, it's a trick I've n not done last time. I got some got some new tricks in the back for you. Yeah, lots of text in the beginning, uh, but after after this, it's it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it picks up a lot after like the first uh, couple of stars, almost mm -hmm. at moons. <laughs> 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 I know it took us like a month to get to not call them stars in Odyssey, and now we're like, wait a minute. So the routing for the stars is uh, relatively straightforward, These this first world, basically. Um, there's only, you need to get eight stars total to get to the boss of this first dome, this first, you know, kind of hub world that we're in. Uh, and there's only nine available to us. But as you go through the game, it starts to, it starts to open up more and more what your routing can be. Yeah, it's, it's a bit embarrassing, but I've been running this game for four years and I still don't remember the route. So uh, <laughs> you're going to want to do good egg one here, just so you know. <laughs> right. Because I, uh, I have the convenience of just using splits when I'm at home. <laughs> so I never remembered it. So just in case, Spike has his phone with the route. He's not tweeting. He's he's helping out. Don't yeah, worry. he's helping out. Don't worry, guys. You're seeing just lots of utilization of the gravity mechanics in this game. Just little subtle things where he would have had to talk to that Luma to make a uh, a little uh, a pole star to get up to that launch star up there. Uh, but instead, he just does a long jump at a specific angle, and that actually will give him enough gravity to get all the way up to it. Right yeah. here, he's going to go for a triple jump to try to skip having to kill this piranha plant. Get high enough, very nice. Yep. And we got another one coming up right away. Lots of cool tricks all the way throughout I this. I just go for a double jump spin here. Whoa. Oh, wee. Yeah, I love the gravity tricks in this game. I'm guessing those are made easier as well by Luigi having the higher jump. Also, yeah. you'll see me every single time I come from a launch star, except when we enter a level, I'm gonna 
go in first person mode and cancel it immediately. That's why you see the, the screen mm -hmm. shake a little bit and you can see the camera on the side. And that's that's a landing cancel. If you go in first person right away, it skips the, like, I don't know, whatever movie does and it's like half a second. But half a second and we go it, through like a hundred Yeah, it, it adds up to like a couple of minutes over the course of the run. You're also seeing just any of you who maybe aren't familiar with Super Mario Galaxy, there are these little things he's picking up called the Star Bits. And uh, I believe the route Chris is taking, we're going to need a thousand of those throughout the run. So Sounds like a lot, but it's, no, it's, it's, it's not at all. Pretty yeah. trivial to get in any percent. In, in 120 star, you need 8,500. And that's that's it's so much, you can't even get enough. Like in a normal run, you have to like actually go out of the way and farm. Yeah. So you will see him. Try to kind of optimize getting all of those in the least amount of stars as he can throughout the run, where if he only has, if he has less than a certain amount, you know, kind of whatever he feels like at the time, I'll try to make sure he has none by the end of it, because you can also use them as projectiles, uh, which you'll see here probably on the next start. Oh, hello. We don't want to save either. Saving is much, much slower. And the game is really nice, actually. If you game over, it still asks you, do you want to save? So... <laughs> I'm a bit shaky. I'm not sure why. You're nervous. I'm so nervous You're doing right now. So far, man. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I'm nervous. It's more I'm like literally dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Just know you have to go to Good Egg Two. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think I got the first eight at least. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. The only star we won't be doing here is Good Egg Three. Normally, generally, we're gonna try to avoid having to do like longer boss fights. But there also is, within the routing, just thinking about, all right, you have to beat certain stars to unlock other, maybe very, uh, quite a bit faster stars later on. Okay, we need 100 star bits here. Yep. To feed the Hungry Luma in the level. Yeah, so you're going to see some specific stuff here in order to actually obtain more than usual here. Yeah, the star bit route for this area is pretty, like, specific, but mm -hmm. it's pretty flexible at the same time. Oh, and yeah, Stipper Luigi. Needs to make sure he doesn't not break that box in kind of one go right there. All right, we got a pretty difficult skip right here. Coming up, the Luma bounce. Oh. First try, yeah. there we go. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very small skip. It saves like, I think it's eight seconds or so. But it looks cool. It looks super cool. Yeah. Uh, it's utilizing a uh, mechanic in this game, uh, the homing ground pound, um, which just, it'll home into, you know, an object or anything that's your closest to, which in that instance was the Luma. And because of that intense backflip, just the, 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 the physics of it, you get a lot of speed going backwards. That's something that just I love in general about the Super Mario Galaxy games is that maybe they're not as complicated looking, at least looking in their movement, but um, just the tricks are so obvious and so flashy, it's really fun to learn this game and run it. So there you saw it once again. He needed to collect all hundred of those building up to it. And we make this thing explode. That's our stars. Oh, planets are made. <laughs> Also, I, just like in Galaxy 2, if you end the level with a coin or a star bit or, or a star, weird enough, um, you get, for everything you get a text box, everything you collected. And if you happen to finish a level without a single star bit or without a single coin, you skip that text box and that saves another second or so. Mm. So if I only get like one star bit anyway, I'm just going to throw it away to save that second. Yeah, this definitely being one of those levels is only going to have a few at the end. Try to catch this cycle. No, Ooh, no, no, I'm not going yeah. for that. <laughs> if you get squished, you instantly die there, so it would set him back quite a bit. Yeah, once again, you just see all these really, uh, you know, just really easily set up <laughs> tricks all over the place to skip how to do it, like, including here. The star so. chips? Yeah, yeah. just ignore them. We just do a long jump. Yeah, you would get all five little blue star chips there. It would create pole stars to get to it. Nah, we don't need that. Just long jump into it. 
I really like the, the gravity skips and simple stuff like that in this game. However, there are some difficult tricks in this game, including coming up right here. Uh, okay, this is the star yeah. worm donated for. 50 bucks if we get it first try. Yeah, this is the one uh, Chris did not go for last time. One of, definitely one of the hardest tricks in the game. Some people might even say the hardest, uh, but yeah. It's, uh, it's with, Lu with Luigi, once again, much easier than with Mario. Yeah. yeah. This is probably the hardest trick as Mario. Yeah. That I, can, I can agree with that, yeah. Yeah, the basic idea is what you're supposed to do on this star is that uh, you go through this entire path. Obviously, the game, you know, with the camera there showing you off the, the queen bees over there. You end up getting bee Luigi, the bee power up. Going over there, you get a bunch of star chips. Um, uh, however, instead you can do this right here. This uh, just a slope running, uh, very simple tech. But if you just run up a hill and you keep spinning, you don't actually fall down. Yeah, it's a small oversight in the game. And right here, the tech that he's using to allow him to do that to go up that slope. Um, if you uh, start to slide down a hill, well, actually, I'm just gonna let y'all watch it. Y'all figure it out. Yeah. Right here, he's going to want to slide on his belly on the way down. So he has to maneuver the tree in a very certain way, so that ends up happening. Try, baby. Let's Whoa, go. Let's go. Nice. I was really, really oh, happy that guy. Oh, and time. cleared it, ladies and gentlemen. Very <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm so the first ever appearance of Captain Toad, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up. <laughs> yeah, very nicely done. Yeah, obviously, you could probably tell there just by watching it. The most awkward part of that is just the camera flip right at the end. Right, yeah. as he's about to transfer from one tree to the other. That's Yeah, that's very difficult. This might be one of the first Mario games you have control of the camera then, for the most part. I'm so glad I got this first one. <laughs> There's like one really, really bad outcome where you slide for too far to the left and you just die. 60 to life. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Totally yeah, we're going to try to get that number to 1,000. There are a number of stars where you can easily get 100-plus star bits. So. so that kind of means the routing for the star bits. You want to get most of them in one level. That way you're not seeing the text box every time. Right. Again, saving a number of seconds over the course of, you know, 60 potential stars. Oh, yeah. Actually, we got another... Very similar to the trick we just did, uh, something I learned. It's not as difficult, but it looks just as cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, um, usually I do something called tower skip, where I proceed in the level and then jump on top of the tower from the very, the very, very top. It's a long, a long fall, but this time I learned new strats. And Ooh. Yeah. These are actually strats I don't know about. <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I just yeah, learned them a couple days ago. I was, it wasn't it wasn't too bad, so I'm like, oh yeah, I might as well. And it's not too punishing with Pele either. Camera is really weird here. Okay. Let's go. Very nice. Oh, and then the homing ground pound right at the end. Oh, and good boss. Yeah, right. Good boss, too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I like that strat, too. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't think of it. Ne ever. Never seen it before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, skipped over an entire tower or an uh, extra couple plants that would have had gone down there by skipping that launch start. Big John, if you want to go ahead and read a couple donations as we're getting into the next star. 
All righty, we got $50 from Angel Zach. He says, hey, Chris, wanted to donate for each death, but I won't be here by the time you end your run. So here you go. Money goes to your choice. And, of course, we also have uh, $60 from 60 Says, good luck from Chris. Good luck to Chris. Let's go Green Mario. Shouts out to the people on the couch. Behind the couch, random, Elaine, Pack, Rubu. Hopefully, <laughs> everyone has fun. And good luck to the rest of the runners. And donation also goes to Streamer's Choice. Streamer's Choice? Is that Streamer's Choice. Is I'm the about to say, <laughs> Streamer's Choice. Who is oh, oh, the right? official runners game star? Sorry, quick. I'm, I'm the streamer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice. It's the uh, bonus game, Punch Out. Super Punch Out. Yo, nice. Yeah, what are we at to for that, out of curiosity, Big John? Which one? For uh, the, the bonus game we got coming up, the uh, punch out. Well, the punch out one, we have about, let's see here. And, and that needs to happen, by the way. If you want to see Zallard oh, punch out two player, one that. controller, yeah. we're at 2936 out of 75,000. So um, you don't want to miss this one. I, I've seen him practice it. It's some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. He'll be not, not only beating Mike Tyson's punch out and super punch out at the same time, but with the same controller. Uh, it's going to be absolutely insane how he's able to do it. You guys want to donate for that. Get that in. Here, just skip the flowers. It's a bit faster. Yeah. First time we're seeing B. Luigi. Uh, it gives you a little bit of a hover, but it's generally a very slow suit. So uh, we hopefully won't see it too many times throughout the run. Yeah, we can't, we can't do anything with it. We can't backflip, can't long jump. We, just can't, we can just run and jump. So we're going to get rid of it here so we're a bit faster. Mm -hmm. Which also gives him his triple, up, triple jump. High enough to get this attack. Now, the getting the third hit the third can be hit. a little bit tricky, honestly. Yeah. I play it safe usually. There's a way to hit him while he's sideways, but I uh, I just play it safe. Yeah. Very nice. And yeah, right there, showcasing just how intense Luigi's bat flip is. I always wonder how they were so in. Tense compared to just regular jumps in these games. Yeah, he jumps like four, four times, times as high. high. <laughs> it's crazy. I wish I had that ability. <laughs> That'd be my mutant power. <laughs> yeah, the most time saves in this level actually comes from the two long jumps at the end instead of walking all the way to the star. Yeah, from not, because that's another uh, just regular ability that you don't have access to while in the B suit. Is that the case for all the different suits, or just the B suit? No, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of suits that will make better utilization of. Just the B's probably it's a little low tier, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, very. The B in the blue suit, in my opinion. Uh, later on in the run, we have a, uh, a level that's entirely designed to use the B power up, and we don't even collect it once. <laughs> Yo, do we want chat to guess your time? Um, I mean, sure. It's not an it's not an official contest game. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chrism in his chat. Oh. I know you like to play. Uh, I know you at least do this with uh, the upcoming the Ghostly Two yeah, race yeah, yeah. later on. This tutorial is awesome <laughs> because uh, yeah, he needs to hold it in this direction. You can't speed this up really. It teaches you how to turn to the left. Turn to the left, but but how do you turn right? <laughs> how would uh, you that's know? That's how you. That's how you. Uh, <laughs> In, in Galaxy 2, they were like a bit smarter, and they just, they just told you how to go left, but not how to go right. Like, oh, dang. Just got to go like in a circle to the left then. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's not really feasible to dodge the coins here. That's another case where, once again, if he can dodge all the coins in a given level, or a given star, he will. But yeah, everybody remembers, man, first time I ever saw my boy I at Your Pie play this level. What a doozy. How many did you take a while? Uh, it might have taken a little while. <laughs> and this is the easy one. This is the one that's like introducing you to going across <laughs> this. Uh, yeah, motion controls. I don't know. People give a lot of crap to the motion controls in these games, but uh, I always thought they were really well implemented. I would say these are actually more well implemented than like Odyssey that just came out. Yeah, I agree with that. They're only in small parts like this. And yeah. It's fun. Obviously, he's going to try to cut these corners as much as he can, have the have the Manta's arms going just a little bit off. There are no major skips in this one. That no. You might think, like, oh, there's somewhere where you could, like, shoot off one end. Like, right there, you could just go to the end. No, it's, it's not If a you thing. could go up there, that, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be dope. Fifty-seven, ninety-three. I think he's going to 59. Oh, 12.8. All right. All right. 
<laughs> you mentioned this last time. I didn't know it. Oh yeah, yeah. You, if <laughs> if so you good. if you jump off right after you finish, you die. You have to do it again. <laughs> so you gotta wait a little bit before you mess around with it. Before those. you swag. Yeah. Yeah, and generally, if you have any donations, just kind of right after we get a star, we do have like about 30 seconds. Basically, every time yeah, we so. grab a star. Maybe. All right, gotta go fast. Twenty dollars from Wendy Ben says, "Hey, Chrism, good luck in on the run. Hope your ring goes straight through your PB of luck from your community." Thank we you. also have uh, thirty dollars from Clippity Clop says, "Glad to get a donation while Spike was on the couch. I missed the crash, Raymond and Superman sixty four runs, but I was busy with work. See you back in the Spike pit. <laughs> donation goes to Spike's choice." Yeah, I'm gonna put my donations right now. Great, Drew. He says. Ooh. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the straight, but it's cold, so okay. maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show it in small doses. Yeah, I'll, I'll say what my donation choice is after this star. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is actually. Uh, it might seem like a really trivial star, but your movement in here is pretty specific. Oh, very right cool. here at the Very start. hard, uh, actually. The first jump. You need to get like a weird angle to make that first cycle. Like that. Don't want to yeah. get hit by the laser. So you can make every other cycle now. You can do this. And should be able to catch this pretty easy right here. Yeah, everyone, there's lots of different routes I've seen. And I was going to try to carry a triple jump here. I think and I, yeah, I think he, I got it. Yeah, if he angles this right and pulls himself back with a spin, he should be able to get up to it. Yo, very nice. It's a... Uh, very tough level to do like, yeah. perfectly. Yeah, that is that is definitely a tough early game star to do well with your movement. Because you mess it, it, again, right there at the beginning, if you don't have your momentum going correctly, because uh, another problem with Luigi is that while his top speed is faster, it takes him longer to get up to that top speed. So if he's just a little bit slow, that laser that comes out will catch you, and then all the cycles are messed up, and you actually lose quite a bit of time. Um, but yeah, to say what my donation incentive is going for here in just a couple runs, there's uh, my good friends from the Kingdom Hearts community are going to put on the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep run. Um, and yeah, there are three characters you can pick from, Aqua, Ventus, and Terra. Any that go to me, but you guys should also just donate to Ventus. That's the coolest category of the three. All right, so in this level, there's only two planets, and we're going to try to jump from one to the other, even though they yeah. seem pretty far away. Um, but they're not. <laughs> This is one of my favorite skips of the entire game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Really easy to get your triple jump eaten right there on this glass. Yo, nice. Yeah, the uh, the gravity field on this small planet is so big because of the boss that's standing on it. If it wasn't this big, we would just fall off. I like that trick too. It's so cool. This boss fight is also pretty tough. You need to. Uh, we want to jump to the right right away, so we can we can catch the cycle on uh, his steps. Yeah, it's so right is the camera. I'm gonna man. jump like while we're even off screen. Still, you can hear it like that, and then we we made it just in time. Otherwise, it starts to lift up here. And you have to wait for it to Get come the, back down. The good momentum, long jump here. Nice. And the fast single jump. Sometimes single jumping is faster than a long jump. Yeah, it's all dependent on angles that you're taking on the gravity, so it skips over that curve you'd have to run on. And then you see all the, these barriers that you're supposed to break, probably. Screw that. Yeah, screw that. We'll just go over. <laughs> nice fight. <laughs> Good level. Good level. That's the, the first area right away. <laughs> yeah, some, some more donations would be good now. We've got a big cutscene. Alrighty, we have uh, fifty dollars from Mr. Game and Show. Had to donate during Super Mario Galaxy. My wife let me do video game music for our wedding and most of the wedding party entered to the cosmic observatory thing. Ooh. As an added bonus, my wife hates Here Comes the Bride, so her entry music was the overture to Final Fantasy. Can't see or play this game now without thinking of one of the happiest days of my life. Added bonus, my company matches my charitable donations, so this is really like $100. Uh, we also have uh, $35 from Anonymous says Super Luigi Galaxy. Huh? It is the first game I finished 100%. I love this game, and I'm still playing it on these days. Wish the best luck to the speedrunner. And hello, Twitch chat. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. 
This is one of your favorite speedruns, isn't it, Grizzle? It's one of my favorite games ever. It's the probably top three, along with, I don't know, Pikmin 3 and... I don't know, Super Mario 64. Like Beyblade or something? <laughs> Beyblade, GBA, yeah, yeah. let's go. Let it rip, dude. <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a super... Uh, if you're ever just looking for a good, maybe, like, first 3D speedrun, I think this is one of the absolute best choices. Because, again, while it is, like, super chill and the music's great and everything, there are just lots of really satisfying tricks. And the skill ceiling is a lot higher than you would think it'd be for this. Uh, we got a triple jump coming up right here to skip this little teleporter. Very nice. And make sure you don't jump back into oh, that Oh, no, if you run into that, you go backwards. <laughs> Straight back. That's a bad feel, man. Okay, Space Junk 1. It's Oh, yeah. Here's uh, a it's such a bad yeah. skip. It, it's very inconsistent for me, but uh, I'm going to keep going until I get it because I didn't yeah. do it last time. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, now, I want to say it's it's a new skip it's fairly since, new. Really you, new. since you did it at 16. Yeah. It was was it found after, actually? It was found after. Yeah, oh, there you go. Like, yeah, I was like, I th you were beating yourself up for not going for it. I was like, I don't think it was a thing yet. <laughs> yeah. How did I not discover it at HGDQ 16? Ooh, fun, though. Was that at HGDQ 16 where we actually found a new trick in the practice room spike? In, in uh, Battle Rock. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you when. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so he's gonna try to manipulate. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. He needs to get a specific amount of speed here. Does that work? Uh, that's gonna be close. Yes, let's yeah, go. dude. <laughs> Again, just manipulating. You know, there are all sorts of gravity fields all over the place that he's trying to avoid right there, and by pulling himself into the background just like that. Uh, he's able to skip all the way to the end of the level, basically. That saves like 25 seconds if you get it first try, so. Yeah, second try was still worth it. Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't fail it. Like, a lot of times you'll kind of commit to it and you'll fall all the way back to like the beginning of the stage and have to run back up. Uh, seven is not keeping. Yeah, again, shooting away those star bits so he won't have to see the like one second text box at the end of it. And here, you know, a lot of it's having it memorized. Having a few scary jumps here. one is probably the most scary. No big deal though. Knowing exactly when to spin. If he spins a little bit late there, not only you know would it cause the death, but it just also would lead to it due to a bomb. I jump into this last silver star because Luigi is so slippery. He would just like slide off the platform when during the cut, like when the cutscene ends. <laughs> but now that I jumped in it, I can just turn around and long jump to the star. Good level. Yeah, good start. That's an that's an early run killer for sure. Yes. It seems like a lot of the gravity tricks are kind of ball or nothing. If you miss the planet, you're just right. flying off the map. Oh no, we would have been back at where we came from. There's usually always a gravity that pulls you. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're not avoiding death planes in that instance. It's just avoiding other gravity fields. They're gonna either want to pull you like further into the level, like it intends for you to do, or pull you back to the start. There are cases where it will kill you, <laughs> but it's pretty obvious. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. in, in Galaxy 2, there's actually one level where they completely forgot to add a death zone. So if you just if you fall down after like an, a Yoshi flutter, <laughs> you're just standing there in the middle of nowhere. You're just there's chilling. nothing. <laughs> okay, I got a boss fight coming up. This one uh, is, a, is this a tricky one? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it can be tricky. Oh, it's the Camella. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that one's fine. Though. This one's fine. The shells can be a bit tricky sometimes. That they aim like here, right here. If I was standing a little bit further to the left, it would have aimed at the the Koopa, the Magic Koopa. So gotta be careful with that. And then here, make sure you don't like slide down the wall. All these like little time saves. Yeah, normally this boss wants you, I mean, you got to hit it with three shells, but we're going to make the movement up to it a little bit slower and see how you can kind of home in on different objects. The old triple jump here, skip over that. Yeah, we take the green shell with us into the battle so we can get an early hit right away. And using that little uh, mini launch star right there would have actually broken the shell, so he wanted to make sure he dodged that. Right there, kind of waiting to see whether Camella went to the left or the right side. I'm pretty sure you always go to the left. 
Oh, does it always go to the left? Ah, so. uh, making stuff up. <laughs> That's par for the course for me. Yeah, there's also a strategy where you can jump right into the shell and spin, catch, and throw it midair, but... <sighs> I've been running this game for years, and I failed it so many times. <laughs> it's pretty tricky. Especially in a later level where you're like, oh, you only have one HP, and you have to be beat them with only one HP. Oh, no way I'm doing that. Good stuff. The guy any donations, we can jump in on them again. Alrighty, we have thirty dollars from Witty King that says, "Hey, Chrism, you and Rocket Bean CB took me into speedrun community. Thanks for that. Greetings to Alex from Germany. Oh, here's my head. Donation to Chrism's choice. And we have a three hundred ten dollar and seventy five cent anonymous donation that says, "Hey, GDQ, long time watcher, first time donating. Love what you guys do for charity. And now that I can afford to, I wanted to help out." Donation goes to Spike's Choice. Thank you. <laughs> so again, we're starting to see the route, you know, diverge from just kind of the, the linear route a little bit more here. Uh, instead of doing Space Junk 3, instead we're just going to leave Space Junk. There's actually, I know they've started to make an alternate route where you could go there, but yeah, here in this route. Uh, I, I think clouds. the route I'm using is at tiny bit outdated. They changed one star, I believe, yeah. Yeah, the routing for this hasn't changed a ton over the years. Are you going to go for the small skip here? No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Chad absolutely has not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one, uh, if you get it, saves like four seconds, and if you miss it, you die. <laughs> it's more like two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it like yeah, two? <laughs> right here, right here. If you jump down to the right with a lot of momentum, you can jump on the rail. And you end up like... If you miss it, you die. I don't know, here. Yeah, I'm going to say it's like three seconds. We can cut it even. Okay, okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he obviously, he wants to be running, staying on the ground, because every time you have to jump, it resets your momentum. So he wants to stay on the ground running as much as possible, as opposed to having to jump over these Goombas. But Goombas is a little random where they are. Ooh, keeping them running all the way. They were some bros there. Very yeah, nice. not in the way. Yeah, I don't want to bounce over them. It slows you down a lot. There you go. And now we go with Battle Rock. Yes. All of Battle, Battle Rock. Rock 1, 2, and 3 for the fans. No secret. No. No garbage clearing in this one, sadly. Everyone's favorite uh, star when you have to clear the garbage with the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> what a great star. <laughs> yeah, it can also make it hard uh, just because... I know Chrism also runs the 120 star category of this, so it's the routing would be completely different. Like yeah. that star you just did right there, you would do it like 70th or something. Yeah, wait, in very, a late, star. very late. Yeah. The routing is mostly focusing on like at certain amount of stars, you get teleported back to Rosalina, so you want to combine that with another teleport, so you don't have to you reduce the travel in the star observatory. We're also going to see here in a number of stars where, you know, that we're going to start to see these uh, uh, prankster comets start to pop up. Um, and they'll only pop up at certain numbers, like every other star. Also right here, very difficult triple jump. And he got first try. Yeah, that's that's actually really hard to do. And here's the here's the trick we found. Yeah, last GDQ. new one. <laughs> oh, I was I was messing yeah. around with Spike uh, in the practice room, and I uh, I realized that you. Right after landing, do a, a backflip. You can actually skip the, the platform or the trampoline, and it's, it's faster. So one thing I contributed to the community. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but here we got an auto scroller, so naturally we'll kick it off for donations. But uh, also, Grism's going to have some fun with the gravity right here, show off its physics. And uh, uh, this is a really good place. We actually have to do this level twice, but it'll be worth it star-wise and get a lot of star bits. So with that, Big John, uh, enjoy. All righty. We've got $20 from CCAT 212 that says, So thankful that I get to work from home on Friday so I can see this run. Super stoked that it's 360 Chrism running as Luigi. With Spike Vegeta on the couch and Big John announcing all some of my favorite people. Super Mario Galaxy is one of my favorite games as well. Thanks to all the runners, volunteers, and staff who put on these events for such great calls. Today I'm thinking of a friend's daughter who just relapsed for the third time as well as my grandmother's that I lost to cancer. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. 
We've got ten dollars on Brandon. So it says, "Hi, Chris, I'm on the couch. If you could have one movement skill from a Mario game, which one would it be?" Uh, if we could have one skip in a Mario game, movement skill. You know. Oh, movements. That yeah. backflip. The wing. Oh yeah. <laughs> the wing. The wing cap. The wing cap would be great. Wing yeah. cap wouldn't be bad. It runs out though. Oh what? Oh. <laughs> I think having flood could be cool. Flood. Be pretty oh. useful in a lot of places. I feel like I would not be nearly <laughs> nearly athletic enough. I would need the backflip start. Oh! Off. oh. <laughs> Whoa. I was about to say, you made that a little harder than I thought it was going to be. All right. I was like, uh, oh, duck, duck, duck. Thankfully, in the crouch animation, we're good. Do coins give health back in this game, too? Yeah, they do. Okay. You just yeah. straight up missed. I didn't, didn't realize. Yeah, it's very finicky moving these. The bullet builds around the, mm -hmm. the box. I was about to compliment you on saying, like, oh, you. Because <laughs> very easily, if you don't make them ride a very specific line all the way to the star cage, it'll see the other cage that it goes right by and say, ooh, looky there. <laughs> and try to lock onto that instead. You got that part, and then it rammed into his face. But it is what it is. <laughs> Can I do the triple jump again? And again, just imagine, like, a lot of these tricks. <laughs> like, they're relatively lenient with Luigi, and they are just generally much harder with Mario. His max height just isn't as high. Oh, also, one thing, if you want to run this game, um, you spin much higher when you're holding A. Yes. And that's the thing that's so important. Like, a lot of tricks are impossible if you're not, hold like, if you're not holding A. Yeah, that triple jump he did at the beginning yeah, of Battle impossible. Rock 1 right there. Yeah, you just you can't do it. Also with Luigi, it's really weird. It, you you want to shake with the Wiimote if you're playing with Mario, but if you're playing with Luigi, you actually want to shake the nunchuck. The nunchuck gives Luigi a bit more height than the remote. Yeah. I have no idea why that's the case. Yeah. Yeah, it's very small, but like, I could never get into just switching like between them when I was running Mario and Luigi. I, uh, I used the nunchuck spin like once this run sure. for like a very, very tight jump. Everything, I just go with the remote. Yeah, it's just so not natural for me. Ooh, here we got like, a new trick coming up that I didn't do last time either. Um, Ooh. So I'm gonna take this bomb and put it like behind the cage, like I don't know, here, so I, I don't get hit right away. And then I position myself around here so I can talk to him right away. And before I jump in that star, I'm gonna look up for like two seconds. Oh, I was a bit too far away. And that uh, activates that launch star, and I can I can use it right away instead of going through it once and then falling back into it. I've actually seen that skip before, but never knew how to do it. Yeah, I just learned it a couple of days ago as well. Oh, damn. Yeah, launch stars in this game, they're a bit broken. They need a bit to activate. Usually, uh, I think it's two seconds or so. They fix that in, in Galaxy 2. In Galaxy 2 launch stars, they, are, they work immediately after mm. appearing. Yeah, they just need to be on camera for like two two seconds before they activate. Okay, this one. Uh, let's make sure we don't miss. Yeah, and also look up and check the cycle. Oh, yeah. So I think the crystal is still on the far side now because we looked at it. Yeah. Wants to make sure. Nice. Very nice one cycling that. Okay. Because if he missed that, he would have had to go all the way to the other side and go through that same process right there, wasting quite yeah, because, a bit of time. Yeah, because I looked at it, it moved. And things things in this game only move when uh, when they're on screen. So a lot of cycles you can influence by just looking away, or first person looking at it or something. This one, too, I think. Okay, I guess that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, depending on what your movement throughout the entire stage has been, you could possibly shoot here right at the start. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's free. The free cycle line. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was a really good star, actually. Okay, where do you want to? <coughs> Battle Rock still? Uh, yeah, Battle Rock 3. Okay, got it. Battle Rock 3. Yeah, we're going to be going, this is the, the, the topper, not topper. <laughs> I've been playing too much Odyssey. The 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 top <laughs> the devil. <laughs> this is a great boss fight if it goes correctly. But want to read off one quick donation before we get into the start. All right, and as you can clearly see, Thomas says uh, twenty dollars. Says who needs Red Luigi anyway? Everyone knows only brother is Luigi. Yeah. 
I'm glad Big John got to be on host for the Luigi run of the marathon. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad it's Luigi too. Oh my god. I'm guilty of not preparing enough for Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that was a part of me that was like, I mean. <laughs> it all worked out though. I can. That would have been funny. And try to set up for another triple jump here after taking that quick bit of damage. That wanted to be part of the run. Totally part of it. Yeah, normally you got to wait here, but. Oh, you just set up the backflip. Yeah, he's there just playing it safe. Yeah, backflip. The, the triple jump is so tricky. If you mess up the angle slightly, you just like start orbiting. Oh, hello. That was not the way it's <laughs> Sometimes it makes no <laughs> sense. Like, how did you shoot it from? How did it come towards the screen right there? In here, there is a cycle, an early cycle we want to catch. Yeah. Also, I store I stored a, a spin there to like just touch the box and it, it explodes. And normally, as you can see, it wants you to like hit these green switches to switch the gravity constantly. But instead, I believe we're going to go through this whole thing without changing it once. Yeah, I got, like I got the cycle. Got a good cycle there. Very nice. And once again, we're never going to switch the gravity. Very good. That's definitely a very perilous stage right there. Right here, they want you to jump off this guy, but instead, one, two, see ya. Yep. <laughs> also, I love this room right here. Just watch. It's very fast. So much pressure on me, Spike. What two you enemies doing? you got to take out. <laughs> oh, I'm putting the pressure on. Beyblade. <laughs> the double. <laughs> the double. Double, yeah, the star bits are very useful. Here we try to do another orbit. On I like calling them orbit backflips. That's such a cool name. I've yeah. never heard him <laughs> call that. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this guy's the boss. Um, but if you do it right, it can be pretty easy to mess it up, though. Yeah. There is a daredevil version of this boss, and uh, like a small mistake can just yeah, cost you a lot of time. <laughs> It's one of those bosses that a lot of times it'll just look like that. Well, one hit, two hit, three hit. And then you'll just die yeah. sometimes on it, and everyone will make fun of you in your chat. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel real bad. It's, it's pretty simple, so yeah. Dying on something like that is very, very embarrassing. At least for someone that knows how easy it is. I like uh, that a lot of things in speedruns, they look super difficult, and everyone starts clapping, but then you're like, that was so easy. And the, and other, and the, the other, other way side, around, yeah. yeah. Other way around too. Something's like super difficult, and then looks like everyone can do it. Uh, Spike. Oh uh, uh, yeah, the, yeah you want to go to the boss? You want to go to the boss? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't do the secret, and the comet wasn't there. Huh? I'm just gonna look ahead a few stars. All right, there we go. Yeah, one, yeah okay, I got the next five. Right. I also no, don't know if we touched on this. You need 60 stars total, right? Yes. Yes, 60 stars total to unlock the last level, and then that star counts as well. So it's 61 for the whole run. Yeah, there's two requirements the game looks for to send you to the final stage. Uh, you need 60 stars total, and you need to beat both of the two Bowser fights before that to make him appear over there. So, also a uh, shout, a little bit of an SM64 uh, theme throwback here. Uh, correctly going around this curved path can be really, really awkward, actually. Yeah. He made the cycle. Yeah, that was really good movement to beat it as easily as he did. Some gravity. Jumps. Yeah, I'm waiting, for, waiting for this one. Not sure if you can make an early cycle here. You can, but it's risky. You're playing with gravity pretty hardcore. Try to get up. Very nice, quick side flip right there. You don't see, uh, it's not Mario 64, you don't see a lot of side flipping in this game, but they actually still can be very useful. Very ready, yeah. Side flips. And these Bowser stages, just like an SM64, they kind of highlight the movement quite a bit. It's just good movement over an obstacle course of sorts. And right here, instead of going all the way around, we're then going to just go across. You want to make sure you spin early there. If you wait a little bit longer, you just bonk with the wall. You don't want your spins to actually come in contact with walls. Otherwise, it's like almost like a mini bonk of sorts. Yeah, you it pushes just fall you down. slightly away from, from the wall. And on this wall, it's you can't wall kick it either. It doesn't work, so you really want to go on top, otherwise you just fall. Bowser fights are actually, I think, really hard to optimize in this game. 
Um, you're going to see right off the bat, he's going to try to uh, get him to go straight down onto this. And then he kind of has to make a judgment as he goes. It's random how Bowser will run around the cylinder. You would think he would just yeah, go in a straight a, line every time. It's a bit time. weird. I think it's, how, it's because of how the game works with things that are not on screen. So I'm not sure if you can hit this one. So. I have never done that. And then, yeah, you think he appears there, but no, he's over yeah. there. So you really want to try to watch, you know, which, you know, there's a bunch of stuff inside of this little planet. So you're kind of trying to look around that, like, all right, which way is he going? Some people will just like to wait a little bit. Chrism is moving here uh, before he, uh, or he's already moving, sort of committing to one side. Uh, we're getting, yeah, relatively straight there. I always hope nothing gets in the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah, These like things right are there. so annoying. Nice fight. Good fight, good fight. Very good. Cool. Yep. Just like in SM64, the, the Bowser fights are basically the same with like a little twist. Mm -hmm. um, the last one has the coolest threats, I would say. I agree. But with that, we are uh, heading out of Dome 2. We'll be coming back here just a little bit later. Again, there is going to be some backtracking for faster stars in certain instances. We'll uh, return to basically, I think, everything at least once, except the top stage. Right, yeah. Because of Comets and uh, and Luigi's. Lu <laughs> Again, they're Luigi stars. Yeah, Luigi and stars. I, yeah. You, know, you, remember, if you, might, you might remember from playing this game, if you, uh, if you play as Mario, you save Luigi in certain levels, but... What happens when you play Luigi? Do you save Mario? I don't know. Let's just not say anything. What a twist. We'll find what out. What a, a twist. Bit. Yeah. Commercial break. But uh, with that, we'll be heading up to the third dome. What is this, like the kitchen or something? This is the kitchen, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> is there any, like, are there any utensils or anything in there? <laughs> is there anything indicating that it's a kitchen? Uh, I actually don't remember. <laughs> it's like, it looked like there was just a fireplace in yeah, there. Yeah, fireplace. <laughs> I know the other one's a bedroom, but that has a, very clearly a bed in there, so... I don't know. Anyways, Big John, if you want to read some donations. <laughs> yeah, let's say we over here. So we got um, yeah. Thank you. We got a $360 anonymously donated that says, let's go, Chrism. Thank you. And I don't know how you are going to do this one, but we have $100 from Fortran Warrior that says, do the Mario. Even though you're playing as Luigi, I'll donate $100 more if the couch will do the Mario from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show while the audience or someone sings the song. So swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. I, don't know what that's I think we might yeah, have to do some research on <laughs> that. I don't. <laughs> you all don't know that? No. Oh, oh you're like 10? Come on now. <laughs> They're just... No, I remember watching that. No, no I've like heard it before, but I, I have absolutely no idea what he was. A baby him. child. All right, so this level, um, we were supposed to get five star chips underwater. These things. And <laughs> screw that. Yeah, right, right. yeah. That's so to build a launch slow. star to get the star in the top, but I mean, we might as well just go there right away. This is subtly. It, it might look mundane. This is one of the hardest tricks in the game. I promise you guys. It's so weird. Yeah. This wall just hates you. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. I'll yeah. go around because uh, it's a bit glitchy. Even though it looks like we could wall kick there, you would just slide down to the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of those subtly frustrating tricks. Oh. But even just doing that jump off the tree skips over those the collection of the star chips. So. It's sometimes you can wall kick. Sometimes you just slide down, sometimes you ledge grab, sometimes you skip the ledge grab, and sometimes you just like, it pushes you away and you can't do anything. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. We don't know why though. We, we, have, we haven't figured out why it does that. I'm sure so it's like some People think something. it's the palm tree that, that's like moving up and down when we jump off it, and that gives Luigi like a glitch state or something. Yeah, there's lots of weird things. I mean, I. I don't want to talk about it too much because I, I don't think any of us here understand it. Well, I think it's a developer thing trying to make people not skip it. It's, <laughs> it's something with like, they call it like the tilt in this game. Yeah. Like certain states you can be in based off of objects like the palm tree. Um, but yeah, I don't, it's, none of us get it. None of you at home would get it either. Uh, well, maybe, maybe some of y'all would get it. I don't know, call it. 
you know what it is, donate it. <laughs> uh, this is one of the more straightforward stars right here. Um, dude wants you to go get uh, the shell and bring it back to him. I'm gonna go ahead and swim right through here. Li just a little bit faster than long jumping over. You would think swimming, like in most games, would be slower in this game. Uh, you can actually go very, very fast, because in Galaxy 1, they allow you to spin the entire time. Uh, Pants mentioned it earlier, though. See that air meter? It's running out a lot faster. Not a big deal here, because we're not underwater for too long, but it will be a factor in later levels. Okay, let's see if I can get a cool trick here that I found out about. Uh, yeah. I think I can do it. I want to be closer to the penguin so his belly pushes me into the star and it looks really cool, but I think I'm too far away. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, I figured that out myself a few days ago. That so is I, so I, cool. I think, it, I think it's actually the fastest way to grab that star. <laughs> Yeah, usually it's always awkward getting back there. You just got to start up a run with Luigi. And the backflip usually won't get back to it. That's that's pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. What do we do now? Uh, boat Beach Ball S. Okay. S and you'll okay, do S so then yeah. three. Everything except the comet, I believe. Yes. Here. We'll come back later for the comet. Uh, Beach Ball, one of those where we're going to be loading up on a lot of stars. Just a lot of really fast stars, as you can see here. Um, this is one of the this is the first instance you're seeing where within one of the scenarios there's a secret path you can go on. So even though they're showcasing this to us, we will do that on the very next star. Yeah, not yet. But uh, first up, we're going to uh, go pick up a shell and instead go around a side path here and uh, get introduced to my personal favorite power up. I'm so sad they didn't bring it back in Galaxy 2. The uh, the ice the ice uh, Luigi. Yeah, power skating up. is back, but not the uh, not the power up sadly. I like that one, too. Yeah, it does want to be careful because that shell, if you try to throw it early, will just slam right into the wall. Starting off with a triple jump here in order to get just enough height to skip having to yeah, make some other that, things appear to get up get, to that. Get that cataquack over there. It's yeah. supposed to throw you in there. Everyone's favorite enemy from Sunshine. Cataquack. Oh. I thought we could get through this run without having to talk about sunshine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got, got some sunshine lovers on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best game. So nice getting here fast enough to grab that second ice power up before the first one runs out, saving him just a little bit of transformation time. And <laughs> actually pretty good there. Uh, yay, very nice. Oh, yeah. Um... One little thing, mechanic about this game, actually, when you spin and you're facing forward, you go, you don't go far, but if you spin backwards, you get a lot of momentum from it, and we try to use that in a lot of, in a lot of cases. It was used in the Honey Hive uh, one skip when that's why he got on his belly sliding down the tree. Yes, so so we're going backwards. Yeah, exactly. Going, that's yeah. why I was sliding down on my belly instead of just forward. It also seems like it cancels a lot of forward momentum as well, so it could work mm -hmm. out there too. Yeah, again, this game's physics are pretty wonky, which makes for some cool but also weird looking tricks. So right here, the reason why he was able to skip that opening cutscene as opposed to having to watch Luigi go all the way down is because technically he already entered this star before this scenario, so he's allowed to skip it coming in, even though we didn't do this <laughs> star. <laughs> All right, so another one of the more perilous and difficult tricks in the run for sure, and he's got to do it twice here. Uh, um, yeah, I died here once last year. Maybe I can do it twice now without dying. Doing this with Mario is, like, impossible, and doing it with Luigi is still very, very difficult. Yeah. Try to triple jump so we don't have to wait or go around this enemy. Normally, they want you to go around this long path to the right. Um, however. However. Nice. Yo, got the wall kick. Nice. Also, a, a bit tricky. With Luigi, we, uh, Yoshi fan found a setup that actually works uh, very reliably. Is that reliably? Right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you're German. With <laughs> 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 wow. With uh, with Mario, you just gotta. 
do yeah, weird yeah. things and it's very hard. Yeah. Not impossible. Honestly. Another trick, like, probably a lot of people are sitting at home like, oh, that looked easy. Trust me, there's only certain parts of that wall you can actually kick off of. So you can just do it. It seems like it looks the same every single time. But instead, uh, yeah, you'll just slide off the wall and just fall to your doom. And then you have to go back to the beginning of that little cyclone section. And again, that's the first of two times he's going to have to go for it. Okay, I got a really cool level coming up with uh, yeah. one of the only... Uh, I'm just not going to say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't You'll spoil it. I'm just going to yeah, watch yeah. it. Yeah, this is definitely a fun star to do runs of. I don't want to, like, spoil everything that's happening. No. Um, but, yeah, we're going to do, like, an orbit here again. Oh, yeah. never mind. Hit off just that little... <laughs> what he was trying to do, yeah, off just that little single jump right there. Sometimes the fastest movement is just having a little single jump. Wants to make sure he gets a little bit of a run start right there so that he goes into the full P-speed run right off here at the beginning. This is a bit tricky. Don't want to hit the wall and lose your momentum. Definitely wants to carry... Definitely just did that, though. <laughs> wants to carry this power-up as far as he can so he can kill that boo with the power-up as opposed to having to carry him over to the light. And then carry it into this room, getting as many of these star chips as he can before it runs out. One, two... Got to... Got oh, get about two and a half, so pretty solid. And then setting up this triple jump very nice into that fifth one. That's not easy to do. This is a really difficult... Room. I talked about how difficult the movement in this game is to actually do well, and that room definitely adheres to that. Okay, here's the trick I was talking about. Yeah, we'll just let you guys see it. It's it's a really cool thing. Pretty specific, though, to pull it off. Yeah, I learned the new setup, too. Yo, first and try. And we're in there. A little, uh... Clip through the floor into this mansion. Also, it, because you didn't, you never collected the key. The lights are a bit broken. Yeah, that was a sick usage of that power up. Let me tell you. <laughs> also, <laughs> and yes, <laughs> we're saving ourselves. Yep, you play as Mario. Luigi's here. Start playing through as Luigi. You would think <laughs> that it would be Mario. Nope, it is just another Luigi. I like that though. Yeah, that's cute. Because Mar Mario wouldn't get lost, right? <laughs> Yeah, pay attention, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so we're getting called back over here because that was uh, saving Luigi. Uh, in addition to doing that star, which is pretty naturally on the path, it also is going to allow him to start going around and finding three other hidden stars, which we're going to want to get all three of, actually. He does want to make sure he goes and talks to Luigi here to actually activate that, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, you go talk to Luigi. Or, well, first, first up. So, early on in the game, even though he needs a th only 1,000 total for the run, he did want to kind of favor getting more star bits in the early part of the game because you need 400 of those 1,000 right here. The other 600 he needs at the, like, very end of the run. So, from here, it's going to be pretty trivial for him to pick up the rest of them. Good Maybe timing. More Good timing on that long jump. Yeah, that way, because if you get too far away, you stop feeding the Hungry Luma. So that's him optimizing his movement away, because you can move Luigi around while that's going on. And the reason why he goes ahead and does that second is because, once again, the launch star has... Uh, the delay. The, yeah, yeah, we talked delay. about it earlier. Mm -hmm. It takes a bit to activate, so we just do something in, in the meantime. Uh, this is another one that is something, it might just look like it's long jump the star. It this is. is uh, and it is, <laughs> but again, very hard to optimize your movement trying to angle your long jumps Angles, correctly yeah. and not jump into pits, especially not like when you're going around these corners. Not like in Mario 64, once you long jump, you can't change your angle. In this game, actually, you can if you delay your long jumps a little bit. Mm -hmm. You see him just kind of stop it right there. Also, it's actually pretty difficult focusing on collecting star bits while you're doing movement. Yeah, that multitasking. Yeah. So doing that, it's going to change the cycles up a little bit for him throughout the rest of the stars. So he's going to have to make little adjustments and usually improv a little bit. Oh, uh, and we clipped over the last one. Very nice. Nice. Yeah, in a lot of places there, you, you uh, if you bonk, you die because it's <laughs> the hole spins like under you, under you. So it's also scary. awkward there sometimes when you get off the cycle. Mm. Never know what's coming up. 
So since he talked to Luigi there again, now Luigi's going to go around and try to find those three hidden stars for you. Two of the three are very, very fast. He's going to get all of them, though. Um, and this will give him an automatic cutscene where you talk to Mail Toad, uh, showing off just where he is. The other two, he is going to have to remember to talk to Mail Toad, otherwise Luigi won't spawn there. Yeah, we're coming up with the, the fastest star in the run. Yeah, yeah. it's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> like it's siltingly fast. That pole star is nice. There's two, I think actually three of the domes yeah. where you can actually just based on the camera, you can actually grab that during the while you're loading it in. So you're already getting pulled in. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing the, the first level here instead of the third one so I can skip these cutscenes. Otherwise, we have to watch them. Yeah, and since he's already entered this level. And good level. All right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. we talked about this last time you ran. That is not the easiest star in the game, actually. It is not the easiest star. <laughs> Triple jump spin can be very difficult. <laughs> the spacing, I at least. Yeah, yeah. It, it might seem like a meme. That, that, that is true. Most all of the most difficult tricks in the run are like triple jumps. Because it's really easy, especially with Luigi, to just not have your third one go off because you're sliding. Okay, we got a uh, comment. Oh, comment. Yep. Yes. And uh, this is actually the first comment star of the run that we're seeing right here. Oh, really? Um, based on that, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, this is about, it's at around 20 stars where they start to spawn. But um, just kind of difficult challenges that the game will throw at you. Um, red means a speedrun comet, which, funny enough, fun fact about this run, he will never actually do a speedrun comet <laughs> star in this run. Um, there's like four of them in the game, and they make you go through really long levels that you like, yeah, you have to go fast in them, but they're not fast enough to make the cut here. Uh, but yeah, you got Most these of them are just, they just exactly the same as the regular level. Yeah. Uh, but here he's going to try to time this boost. Oh, didn't uh, get it. We got some other, some more, some more chance later. Yeah, there's, oh. there are four Cosmic Luigi races right here. And they're all pretty difficult casually. He actually moves faster against Luigi than he would against Mario. <gasps> no! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's nice is that all four of them are fast enough because there's a big skip for all four of them. So, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice little skip. Very much not trivial races casually, but we've got some cool skips. That, uh, oh, yeah. We're That's, cheating. Did you say the difference? The Shadow... Uh, yeah, Shadow Luigi's yeah. Uh, definitely he's much, quite a bit faster, actually. Much yeah. faster. Okay, we're done here. And now we'll be... Heading back over to Dome 3, yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> so we'll be doing the uh, the second Comet Star. Right after that, we're going back to Beach Bowl for the Comet there. Once again, camera being awkward here, trying to line up for this triple jump. That's the technique generally, obviously, you can see all the way throughout the run. See, like, is that, I mean, I, oh, oh, there's a pot there that they're cooking something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see the kitchen aspects of it now. I thought it was just a fireplace. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, we're doing oh, comet. no, a uh, comet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to <laughs> subtly just like, <laughs> so now we'll be going to Beach Bowl for the second comet. Oh, right, right. Here. Sorry, yes. man. Sorry. Man. <laughs> we're doing a uh, hard time focusing on the You have to be the splits, Spike. You have to be the splits. <laughs> um, so the yellow style here, uh, you only see them a couple times, but, yeah, it's, Everything's sped up now. Everything's going twice as fast, which is really just going to affect these opening cycles that he's going to have to mess yeah. with. And then he's going to have to go for the exact same skip he's went for the last time. Uh, we see if we can go two for two. Again, very difficult trick right here. Okay, also, you can just like hold right right away, and you'll, you'll be fine. Here we go. Nice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> two for two. <laughs> I was a bit scared there. I thought I spun a bit too early, but good stuff, good stuff. Any of you not appreciating how hard that trick is, uh, whenever I run this game again, just watch me do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you'll see me die there like three times, and it'll look exactly the same. It looks like, oh, there's just parts of the wall that say, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Can't wall kick me. Yeah, it's a weird setup. Um, Right after the spin, I hold towards Bubble the wall, breeze. and then and then I let go of it again, and somehow that makes the oh sorry, yep. yeah bubble breeze is oh, the bubble next breeze. one. Yeah, right <laughs> yep. 
Bubble, Bubble Breeze has a cool skip, too. <laughs> yeah, Bubble, Bubble Breeze, Breeze is a cool level. Yeah. This is uh, one of my favorite tricks in the run. And also just the bubble is cool. Yeah, when it's done really fast, yeah. like Chris better show. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll try it. No, you can just go real fast with the bubble in this game. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite. Again, like I like the motion controls in this game, actually, quite a bit. I mean, maybe he even split. Yeah, but this is the best it's been done in a 3D Mario yet. <laughs> You want to like go around the sign so he doesn't talk to you? Billboard. That's his name. First half of the level, they want you to get all these star chips. So yeah, we're going to be going real fast. And if you come in contact with any of these uh, spiked uh, uh, balls right here, then uh, you die. So he needs to especially watch out for this last <laughs> one right here. Yeah, you can wait. I've also been. I'm, I, went through the, the launch star and just hit the wall and died before because somehow the, the bubble didn't break. There's an invisible ground as you can <laughs> see right there and that's the end of the level, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, totally skipping the second half. Yeah. That it's, second half is super duper slow. It's so a big that's maze a big with the bubble. That's actually one of the biggest time saves. Yeah, I think it is. Point. Probably like 30, 40 seconds. Now you're going to Ghostly S. Yo. Ghostly Secret. Yep. Another really cool star. It's, uh, it's an auto scroller, but we got some auto scroller skips going for this one. Very difficult with Mario once again, and with Luigi, it's kind of easy. Yeah, once again, they want you to do this spooky sprint right here, which we will actually be coming back for in a little bit. <laughs> I heard something about points in the crowd. <laughs> yes, we're giving away points for this one in, in my <laughs> chat. We're doing the secret first, maybe not. Not yet, not yet. All right, so once again, you can see here, utilizing Luigi's little bit longer jump longer long jump to skip over having to wait for these platforms and not even get the key right there to open the door. This one's a little tight. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this one's so hard with Mario, but with Luigi, it's pretty simple. Also, once again, not sure if that would, would be possible if you weren't holding A during the spin. Might not be enough distance. This auto uh also has a skip where you wall kick the invisible walls, but... Yeah. It's, it's pretty risky. It's very risky because you have to land on like a, a very, die. very thin wall. However, he can go for this one as well as a backup. Not have to wait for it nearly as long. Go out, get the key, and come right back and get the star. Nicely executed. Thank you. Uh, uh, and then it's, yeah, Bowser, Bowser Jr. Bowser. Yeah. Bowser. Again, we're not totally done with this dome. There's a few stars we'll come back for later on. Um, there's a lot of them that just, they're super duper fast. Uh, they just haven't unlocked yet from not having enough total stars. Okay. <laughs> if you want one of the easier skips in this run, you can oh, yeah. learn this, this one's one right off Everyone the can do this. Yeah. Uh, the boss fight here is very, very difficult though. Huh? Yeah. There's just a lot going on, and you're relying on the shells homing, which is not reliable. <laughs> That's not, no. This is yeah, one of the hardest boss fights, boss fights to optimize, for sure. Actually, last GDQ, uh, during this run, at uh, this level, I, uh, I uh, <laughs> for some reason, I was holding two shells at once. One, of, one was in my hand, the other one was orbiting around me. <laughs> it was a glitch I've never seen before. That was really cool. They normally want you to shoot off there to the right and go to this other thing. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just blast off that way, and then that pole star, you'll always be able to catch yourself, so it's really, really easy. My favorite there is that you can actually, you can instead of using that, you can shoot just right onto this ship that oh, you're yeah. going on right now, but it saves so little time compared to it. You gotta just turn, there's no time to line it up and it's really specific. You have to turn and just blast it immediately, otherwise you're not saving time. All right, so here's the tough boss fight. We want to, if we miss a shell, we'll have to dodge more things and improvise. But if, if everything goes well right away, 
It's not too bad. So one. I think four, four hits total. Yeah, just hit the face right here, dodging all those bullet bills. Angle around everything. And I got the shell too. Very nice. All right, so that's three hit points there. He's got two in the second phase. Try to get this one over the molten lava balls. And then right here for oh, the okay. side nice. path. Yeah, that last shell definitely was homing for a bullet bill. Yeah, but th that uh, one was going towards the right because it was aiming for the bullet bill. But it was just early enough, so it still hit it. Good level, good level. Yeah, this is one you'll definitely struggle on when you start running this game. And with that, we're actually, before we go, instead of just going straight to the fourth dome, the bedroom, uh, we're actually going to be doing some cleanup in the uh, in a couple of domes all over the place. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, just kind of subtly driving that. So instead, we'll go to the second dome for Battle Rock C. Nice. So make sure you talk to Toad right now. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's... This is like a, such an awful time loss you get for just forgetting to talk to Male Toad oh, right here. Oh, it's horrible. Because um, that's what's going to spawn the second Luigi. The second Luigi is actually kind of slow, but the third yeah. Luigi, once again, is so fast, it's worth it to go ahead and do this. So with that, he's going to talk to Male Toad and head his way over to the second dome. So Big John, take it away. All right, we have $10 from Cyberbot X. It says, good luck to Chrism on making stars explode into planets and beating up a giant turtle with a spike shell using that green dude we all love. Put this to the insane punch out run and greetings from the donation station. We also have $50 from Jay Kowalski that says, this is becoming an annual event for my family to watch. Wonderful calls, an excellent showcase of great speed running. Thanks for all you do, and let's get that sweet punch out bonus. And just to let you all know, we're at 4,200 of the 75,000 required to see Zaller later on during setup block five to punch out and to punch out two games, one controller. So if you want to see that this evening, make it happen. You gotta donate. <laughs> that was my alarm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, you're on time, somebody. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, another one of those instances, uh, I guess the first instance where you're really seeing how, even though we did a little longer start earlier by doing uh, Battle Rock 3, where we fought the, uh, the, the top man fight, uh, that pays off here routing-wise, because now you get to do this. This type of comet is the Daredevil runs, meaning you have one health. So as trivial as this boss looked the first time, you make one little mistake or a, one of the tops with the spikes on their head. A lot of times they'll kill you just by moving right underneath you as you're up in the air making a spin and uh, you die. So we'll see how the fight is able to go. You can't get hit there by that laser even though it's very close. <laughs> Nice. Yes. All right. <laughs> it looked exactly the same as earlier. Yeah. It's also kind of hard because you're collecting all those star bits during the fight too, so the yeah. kind of multitasking makes it a little... At this point, you're actually fine on star bits because the last levels are very generous. If I grab star bits casually, like while mm. now we make it to the... We need 600 still and we would have like 1,200. Right. So you see how I need another 424 here? So here we're going to go. I think you consider this the actual easiest star. Hurry Scurry Galaxy up there in the top First, right. Before Hur Luigi? Yep, Hurry yes. Scurry, then Battle Rock L. Oh. Luigi See? takes you out because it's a green star. And That's why I have this couch with is me. It's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> we are literally the live split right here. <laughs> Um, yeah, he. Uh, I know. I, am I miss, Am I saying that right? You have it. You have this is easier than Luigi and Good Egg. The, I mean, yeah, this one's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's called walking a straight line. Sometimes you have to turn left. There's, yeah, I guess there is like one spot here. <laughs> uh, other than that, there, there's actually um, another planet like this later on. We don't we don't do it in this run where every single tile is covered with a note, and that one can be difficult. If that you one's. Yeah. If you don't come up with a proper like way to do it, and you're like, oh dang, oh, there's no more tiles left. And right here, this might always look a little bit scary. Like, oh, I just kind of want to wait on the platform and let you fall down. That is now basically the middle of the thing. So yeah. you ground pound, you'll always home in right on that. If you if you miss the star, you would orbit around it until you hit it as well. Didn't know that. 
And now we'll do our last star of Dome 2, officially finishing off our trips here. We'll, uh, we'll get Battle Rock Luigi, uh, where he's got to execute that very tough triple jump that we talked about again at the beginning. But after that, we'll go into another auto-scroller. We can pick up quite a few star bits. Yeah, I, I usually get star bits here, so I can skip more later on, because there's just so many here, like 70 or something. It's a, it's a bit unfortunate that we have to do the exact same level twice, but oh well. And we gotta do this jump again. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> what? I got one of the teleport bonks. I've, I've only gotten them like once or twice. I've only got them nice. doing 602s. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen that before. No? None oh, it's really numbers. funny in... Oh. oh, man, you got all the way on top of the screen. Yeah. It's really funny in uh, in Beach Bowl, if you get the teleport bonk, it sends you back from to the launch star where you came from. So you, <laughs> so you fly for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. For like 30 seconds or so, and then you die. I need to go find this trick and watch it. I can <laughs> go to like Pants' most watched clips. <laughs> yeah, it's there. Of course you did it. <laughs> Also, if you keep, <laughs> if you, <laughs> you can keep hanging out here, but at some point the gravity of this thing is just gonna disappear and, you, and then you fall off. I found that out in the, the hard way in the run. <laughs> Makes sense. With that, Big John, if you wanna go ahead and read some donations, my man. Alrighty, we have ten dollars from Donna. It says, "Hey, Chris, your friendly axe man, Donna here. Just wanted to say good luck and kick this run's butt like we're kicking cancer's butt." Donation goes to the boy on the couch's choice, pants. Ooh. You know? I'm with I'm with Chris's choice. Okay. And uh, we got a hundred dollars from uh, Scoldy Lock says I'm showing this to my physics class. They are super into it. Mario Galaxy has edu educational purposes, right? Beat those cancers. Right here, getting this bullet bill to follow you can actually be pretty tricky. It's gonna take a little bit of a wider angle here. Again, it's very easy to get it to ram into either that cage or this pillar right here. But instead, <laughs> oh my Lanta. <laughs> Once again, a bit, got a bit close to it again. <laughs> All right, can we get this in one jump? <clears throat> I always find this awkward actually jumping up and grabbing the star. Okay. Yeah. Nicely executed. Yeah, last star of this area, so we uh, <laughs> we make we make the green star the last one, so we get back to Rosalina. So mm -hmm. Skip some movement again. Combining those cutscenes as well. And now, again, still before we head back to the fourth zone, we're going to go back to the kitchen. Uh, one more triple jump up there, one more trip, so we can grab three more stars there, starting with uh, uh, Chrism's Chat's favorite star. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say it. Uh, you can win points here. <laughs> <laughs> if you guess the right time, I'll get on the spooky sprint. If the closest person gets points on, like, a leaderboard we made up. And. There might be a prize at the end of the season. I'm not sure. I'm just going to think of that. You can also win on the uh, leaderboard of plagiarism <laughs> in my chat. <laughs> yeah, he has a leaderboard too. It's not as cool as mine, though. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly gives. All right, so today, 20 points for this. Uh, but tomorrow, you get a million for this one. <laughs> well, I don't keep track of it. They do. Yeah, it's an honorary system, right? They, everyone keeps their points yeah. themselves. Yeah, and just another little subtle piece of tech that he's been doing all over the game for anyone who might have come in late. It's uh, it's called landing cancels, where if he, as soon as he lands onto a planet, you'll see it right here as well. Like, whenever you have, like, you know, coming from this launch star, he's going to go into first person mode and come out of it real quick by going up and down on the D-pad. And uh, that allows you to start moving Luigi much sooner. All right, here we go. 46-22. There you go. You guys can guess too. Yeah, 46-46. 46, 25. What's the Yo, so chat, bad? what do y'all, <laughs> audience, what do you guys have? Everyone at the same time. <laughs> Don't worry, we're 120 <laughs> now. <laughs> Get out of Who's here. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> if it's 420, I don't know if we're going to win this race. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Are there any 12.8s? You didn't hear any? 
This might be a little rough as 420, as <laughs> Mimi as that would be. Oh, uh, he's going too fast. Yeah, this was. This, this was good. way too good. That was actually a really good race <laughs> yeah, there. 41's really good. 41, 71. I was basing that 46 off of what I usually do. I was basing that off what he usually does. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you banged into like none of the meat. A good meat skip right there. All right. Um, and with that, we're uh, going to go to Pokeball World um, and do uh, grab both the stars here. I'm assuming in either of the orders. <coughs> yeah, you can do in either order. Yeah. Usually you want to go for the secret first. Mm -hmm. So if you re-enter, you can just mash A. Otherwise, you'll have to like move the cursor around. Yeah. Um, it's optimal for being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to. This is meant to be a Pokeball, right? I'm 100 percent sure. It's gotta be shenanigans. Do you, would uh, you play Pokemon, uh, we'll right? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, we'll have you analyze it as we get up to it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it here. Uh, yeah, judging just off of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> from, the, from its bottom side. It's got the little split down the middle, too. I don't know. Um, another star that both of these stars are going to highly, um, or at least the, the main star. Well, we'll get into that later. But uh, once again, you can see right here, you can, unlike Galax 2, you can just spin endlessly. But as Pence, Pants mentioned earlier, all that spinning, he's been in the water for like three seconds, and he lost half of his uh, air meter. Nice camera. Oh, fuck. I should still grab him, yeah. though. Yeah. You don't instantly die when you're out of air. It just slowly damage. No, you slowly damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I wait for this one, and then I... And then I get hit, probably. I don't know. Oh. 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 Boom, I, boom, I, I, boom. I backflipped the wrong way. Again, kind of showing how what messed him up there was that Luigi just takes longer to start moving. Okay, let's go out. Let's see if we can shoot away the star before we grab the star. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that saves a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once again, trying to just not have to see that text box. Yeah, if you guys want to clap, <laughs> go for it. Clap over me. Okay. Yeah, then you do that Same again. Thing. You go Pokeball Same World oh, yeah, again. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, this is where Shenanigans is going to actually get to analyze it. Did you see it right there? That is a Pokeball, oh, yeah. right? There's like a Bulbasaur or something in there, right? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Dude, what's your favorite Pokemon? Let's go down the couch. What's our favorite Pokemon? Mine's Gengar. Oh, that's pretty dope. Scraggy. He wears uh, pants. That's a good choice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I only know Gen 1, so I can't count. I'll be like, uh. nice. Sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Electabuzz main. He's pretty cool. All right. His hair reminds me of me. What do you got? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the Bulbasaur line. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I don't. Shut up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the Bulbasaur line's the slowest. If they've given me grief over many years. What a dirty speedrunner. <laughs> this camera coming out of the water here sucks. Camera here. Once again, see, running out of air, you are given a little bit of time there, though. Yeah. Um, the movement in this star is extremely high skill level, extremely, oh, very nice. Backflip right there. Uh, but now he's going to have to collect these five star chips in order to uh, make a, uh, yeah, in order to uh, make the pull start. Ooh, oh, no, he's, he's not. Oh, he there. is going for it. All right. This is extremely stupid. Oh. Uh, uh, come on. Gonna guys. Go. That there right there go. is definitely a Luigi only skip. That's a yeah. Luigi only skip. Mario <laughs> cannot do that. I guess we found out what's inside. Looks like a star. Yeah. Nice. Also something I did not do two years ago, the uh, the bounce. If yeah. you like cancel it right before you hit it, you get like extra height and that just barely makes it up there. And even if it takes you a few attempts, it's still faster than grabbing all the blue star chips. And with that, we are done with our third dome. We're going to go to the bedroom. We're going to one cycle the bedroom, just well, one cycle, uh, in one trip, do all the stars here. Uh, starting with uh, a lot of people's, you know, Super Mario Galaxy song, Gusty Garden. Fan favorite. Pretty, pretty darn good track.
in a darn good OST. Yeah, they brought this one back in Galaxy 2 as well because mm -hmm. it was so loved. Everything in this stage very fast overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh, one where you've got, you're going to see highlighted a lot of stages. You're going to get almost every star in each of them from here on out, except for Dusty 2. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, don't talk about that. We, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a, that's a 120 star only. If you could somehow skip it in 120 star, we would do that there too. Yeah, there's only two galaxies <laughs> in this dome. Yeah, yeah just this and then the free seasons. But. I actually really like the desert music in this game. Yeah, that is good. Now, if the stages didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's going to try to jump off early here. Give him a lot of distance. Ooh, and chaining it off of the piranha plant. Yeah, extra style points. Gravity here is a bit weird. I want to try to face backwards if I can. And then here, we want to skip a planet. Alright, so yeah. Gonna try to carry this flower. He only gets... Yeah, he's out of spins here. But he did keep this all the way. And now, instead of... Use, utilizing a plane, he's just going to triple jump I don't up, think I got that one. Spin at the... Uh, yeah! Whoa. All right. Very close. I actually still had faith you were going to get it. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the difference between you and me. All right. Uh, and with that, he's got all these star bits. Uh, I mean, it's going to go towards his total, but he also wants to utilize some here. He wants to make sure his positioning, talking to the bunny here, is pretty specific. That's why he jumped right there as opposed to sliding into it. Because if he goes too far, the bunny's going to start running here instantly. Instead, oh you no. can, instead, you can just miss him right there. That's Chrism Showcase. Oh! No! Oh. <laughs> Showcasing one of Luigi's skills, the ability to uh, grab onto stuff. Um, yeah, him. jump on him. Yeah! On <laughs> And uh, with that, uh, we're going to kick it over to the host. You know, I know you all love Taskbot. You know, you got Super Monkey Ball coming up a little bit later after, you know, Chrism shows you how to do this galaxy stuff. But there's a brand new incentive that is just $7,000. Just That's like 80 cents for everybody in chat. If you want to see Taskbot break all the physics that exist in Super Monkey Ball, for Ooh. your low, low payment of just 80 cents per chat member, you can see that, okay? $7,000, that's, that's pretty quick, so you don't have much time for that one. So if you want to see it, just destroy the game even more, get those donations that's, in that's now. That's awesome. Taskbot's awesome. Simple Monkey Ball's awesome. Yeah, I know we have a lot of people in chat. That's their favorite moment of each GEQ is getting to see the Taskbot. And uh, Super Monkey Ball in Taskbot form, I mean, that game's already insane when humans do it, so... Yeah. Okay, in this galaxy, or this mission, we have the weirdest planet of the game. Yeah, there's... Oddly enough, shaped as a question mark, too. <laughs> they knew. They were like, this sucks. <laughs> because things only move when they're on screen. This is a very, very tough to maneuver one. Yeah, he's going to be coming up here. I mean, they're going to be showcasing it to you with this little planet right here. Um, you've got one of these little... Uh, little moles. He does want to make sure he's within the galaxy's gravity field um, or within the planet's gravity field before he does that. But yeah, he's got okay, three here. moles he has to get rid I'm of. I'm waiting a little bit to get this one around the corner first and then I walk and try to get both at the same time. Oh, I hit, I hit oh, him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this guy just came on up, so we just got to chase down one yeah, as you kill each of them, the other ones will speed up, so chasing it down can be pretty annoying. Oh, yeah. Messing this up can I didn't know get that pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of the easiest, if not the easiest, planet in the game to just lose time on at any percent. Yeah. I didn't know they speed up. I think it's just the last one. It's no. just the third one? Okay. I was half right. <laughs> I mean, that's better than usual. <laughs> Okay, here the fastest option is a triple jump, not a long jump, so check this out. Gets you like the speed boost from the gravity. Nice. And we got some time for more donations, actually. Alrighty, we have... Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> we have $30 from Anonymous. It says, Galaxy is one of my favorite games with the best soundtrack. Good luck to all the runners and get those purple coins. I don't know if they're getting purple coins. No, purple coins are post-game. I'm, I'm so sorry. 
And we have $10 from Andrew. 66 says, loving the Galaxy run so far. The gravity techs are blowing my mind. They put my mo donation towards making Zelda do yet another insane GDQ punch out run. Got $23 from uh, Tassie. He says, thank you for taking me back to the days of my youth when one game single-handedly convinced me that motion controls were the future of gaming. It didn't take that long for the dream to die. <laughs> but Galaxy remains the most fun you can have while wagging, waggling about a plastic sausage and egg breakfast. Collect star bits and kill cancer. Wait, what <laughs> are we talking about? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same boat on that one. Oh, man. As you can see, shooting him in the butt right there. Uh, slows him down to where you don't have to chase him. Uh, pretty specific movement he has to, actually has to do there. and Because uh, he won't actually come up from underground until you are pretty close. Yeah, so you want to so, get close to him. Uh, which makes it scary, especially in the Daredevil combo we got coming. There you see the question mark playing it in the background. <laughs> That's where we had to kill the three moles. Dev's just straight up saying, yeah, our bad. <laughs> uh, with that, we are... Uh, uh, going into the third scenario here, but before we actually do the third main scenario, we're going to uh, grab the secret. Um, you can back it up, because it is pretty easy just to miss the ability to get the secret star here. Um, yeah, if, if we happen to miss it, we can just go go on in the mission and do it later. Because we're doing both of these back-to-back, -back, so you can do them in either order, uh, but you obviously want to give yourself two opportunities uh, to not miss the secret star path. I like the movement for this level. Ooh, yeah. this one coming up. Yeah, yeah, that one's that one's really good. Man, shouts to the soundtrack. Yeah. All right, so we have these question mark coins that he's going to be coming up on. <clears throat> he has to make sure he gets all of them to spawn a rainbow Luigi power-up coming up near the end. But again, he's also trying to optimize not spending too much time on his way here. Obviously trying to stay in the wind bends as much as he can. You actually can skip this little plant, but it's pretty difficult when you're trying to get all of those coins. Uh, so he was able to get all of them so he didn't miss this rainbow power-up. And you see the golden chump over there? That's the, that's the star. Again, implementing little jumps around each of these uh, corners. Um, of each of the planets just to skip over. Or, no, not really corners, but the dips. So, nice job there, not having to miss that. And uh, with that, we'll go right back in, and now we'll do kind of the main scenario there. So, big job if you want to read a few more donations. Let's get towards that task bot go, guys. Yes. Yeah, we need that task bot. We're at 491.35. I know, okay, NA math, okay, look, I can't see the viewer count. Okay, leave me alone. I said 80 <laughs> cents a day. Okay, maybe it's more like 43 cents. I don't know. $20 from Moha. Good luck, Chrism. Let's fight against cancer with the power of the stars. $50 from Alex101 said, had to donate for the best Mario game. It's a Luigi game right now, okay? Great luck to the <laughs> runners, and thanks to GDQ for hosting such a great event. And a third awesome gear says, thank you for all your effort for this cause and for this amazing run. Oh, one thing we actually never said. Some people are probably wondering, how are you playing as Luigi? And oh, if yeah. you finish the game with 120 stars as Mario, you you start a, a new game plus adventure with Luigi, which is exactly the same, but with Luigi as the playable character. Yeah, it doesn't give you any extra. I mean, unless you consider Luigi the power of. Um, yeah, it doesn't give you any other advantage besides that and skipping the opening like five minute cutscene slash level. You see right there, he got the rainbow power up anyways. It just makes moving through here much more consistent. Uh, and it's about the same speed. Yeah, it's not specifically required to do this. Uh, gravity here can be really wonky because as you move around this edge. Oh, okay. That's actually a good strat for avoiding that. Yeah, orbit. Another orbit. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you got, I want to go under it because otherwise gravity is just weird. Again, subtly the movement in this game is impossible to do completely correctly and optimize. Okay, so a new strat. Very, very, very difficult jump. Uh, I did not do that last time. Ooh, going for the big boy yeah, jump. Yeah, going for the big boy oh, jump. Oh, I like this one. This is actually like one of the coolest areas. Uh, there's so many skips, and we're probably going to get to see the coolest one. No. Oh. <laughs> I was too
too far to the the down uh, side mm -hmm. of it, so he was stuck in a ledge grab. That angle is absolutely awful that you have to jump at. I'll go for it again. First death. Oh, oh yeah, you're going for it. Yo, we owe $10 I'll go for it once more if I if I don't get it. No, I'll dude, you're going for it till you get it. He's right. Which is right there. Yeah. We got it. Which is funny because that last planet is supposed to be shooting cannonballs and stuff at you. I don't know if it's like a trigger you're supposed to hit or just it kind of breaks it's it. It's the next gravity uh, okay. switch that activates the... That turns those on. Yeah. <laughs> so it makes running along that last planet pretty trivial. But yeah, that's, that's a pretty difficult one. I, I, I shook them both at the same time. <laughs> I can't make them up my mind. You body. really wanted it. And so with that, we're going in for just one more star here in Gravity Garden, or Gusty Garden. Gravity Garden. Yeah, I was, uh, the last one was like Gravity Scramble, so <laughs> I was mixing up. Um, but once again, we got the Daredevil Comet here. Going to have to fight Major Burrows again. And uh, like I said earlier, in order to do this boss quickly, you want to stay closer to him because then he'll come up out of the ground faster. Um, so it actually makes this pretty scary because now if you take one hit, again, you won't die. You won't die. Yeah, it's... I, I usually... Without knowing that you can shoot him with Starbits to slow him down, I had the biggest troubles on the last hit because he's really fast. So yeah, I really want the Starbits that he gives out right now. Spike, give us your impression of him. <laughs> that was pretty good, right? That was pretty yeah. good. I'm gonna give a clap on. for myself on that one. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, but yeah, here's a pretty scary one. He's gonna kind of like move around in a circle because again, Luigi takes a while to start running. So this is him like starting up his momentum and then curving around so he can already be going, but also be in, in front of him. Also, also you'll also notice there he yeah. ground pounded twice, um, even before he got back in the ground. Yeah. It's yeah, it doesn't matter. He still gets knocked out. <laughs> And with that, that is sadly it for a Super Mario Galaxy song. But uh, we're going into uh, one of my favorite levels in the speedrun, actually. I think, I think so, too, for me, yeah. Yeah, I love all the stars here. A lot of the speedrun strats are really cool. Kicking it off here with, uh, well, in these splits at least, uh, Freeze Flame Secret. Freeze Flame Secret, yeah. Freeze Flame. Yeah, climbing the mountain. It's just overall, all the movement in there is super cool. Yeah. I love it. And it introduces. No, no, no. It didn't introduce it. It introduced it, but we're going to get to see a lot more. A lot of, of the skating uh, and the, the, uh, the freeze the, power up. Yeah. Again, my personal favorite power up in Galaxy 1. Well, second favorite. My favorite power up is the bubble. <laughs> the bubble is good. The bubble is real good. Okay. So, again, we're going to fight Baron Burr after this, but yeah. first up, we're going to go uh, along this secret path, climb a mountain, get a start. So there, whenever you're skating, uh, you want to constantly spin and do those jumps to carry your momentum. You can actually also, right there, he actually did a long jump off of it. A lot, a of, lot people of people don't know. don't know you can long jump while skating. I ran this game many times before I knew you could long jump. Yeah. Which makes some jumps much harder. Oh. Yeah, on top of this mountain, that's where we're going to go now. Which might seem like, oh, that seems like that would be a rather slow star. But again, the, the path we'll be going on speeds it up quite a bit. First, going to make a beeline over to this area. Again, long jumps, clearing all that. And then we come over here. Again, same trick we talked about earlier. If you have a slope at these angles, you can actually just keep spinning. This is very simple tech to do. You can just keep spinning and just infinitely walk up it. They fixed that in Galaxy 2. Yeah, can't do that. So yeah, that already saves a bunch of time. He does want to pick up the fire flower power up here. Tricky angle. Which the scary thing about having the fire flower or the fire flower power up, uh, if we could skip it, we would, but we need it to blow up this platform, is that now your spin won't allow you to save yourself nearly as well. So you want to avoid that as much as you can. Using another triple jump. I mean, again, I'll let you guys just watch it. Normally, they want you to blow up this uh, snowman. We're just going to use this hat and go up like that instead. And then go up this side. 
showing off all the tech in this game. Nice star, <laughs> well executed. Those ice bats still give me nightmares. Yes. <laughs> the they love bat. to just time their hit right as you're over that pit thing we saw right there, and then you are frozen going all the way down. It's a great <laughs> feeling. Uh, with that, uh, we're going to kick off this uh, first star here. We're going to go down the actual path to go to the first main star. It'll be the same path right off that. you got to catch this penguin. So, Big John, if you want to read a few donations during this, be a good time. All right. We have uh, five dollars from Anonymous who says, if the announcer pronounces my name correctly, I will donate five more. This money goes to the announcer's choice. Anonymous. <laughs> Cha ching <laughs> Nice! <laughs> Woo! That's right. I English can speak good. We've got thirty dollars from that same anonymous person. Says I'm watching Super Mario Galaxy with my kids, and they're excited. Chrism, could you say something in Deutsch, uh, German, because they don't speak English? Greetings from Switzerland. Oh no! And you can't just say something like Guten Tag. You gotta, you gotta throw a whole spiel out. <laughs> okay. Hallo, wie geht's euch? Uh, Grüße nach Deutschland. There you go. Woo! We gave the greetings back to Germany. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm really, I'm losing my ability to speak German because I, uh, I don't live there anymore now. Aww. Is that like a sad story we just heard or something? No, it's okay. <laughs> now we're good. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, instead of going up this uh, regular path right here, instead we're going to use this question mark block. Right here, nicely landed oh. there. He does need to move quickly, though, because this power-up does not last for very long. You need it for these platforms. He also ideally wants to carry this all the way up to the boss platform. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> he, you delayed that for so long. I know. I waited so I clear. wouldn't hit it. <laughs> I know. I was, I was like, oh, this is smart. Oh, never mind. Once again, Luigi backflips really high up in the air, which is good for trivializing this boss. Nice. <laughs> this <laughs> well, is where, like, if you it. have any star bits, like, you're, you're furiously trying to shoot them away, but... Nah, for this level, I just get them because they're way too hard to not collect mm -hmm. on accident. Yeah. A lot of times, you'll try to shoot them away, and in shooting them away, your pointer will come back on screen, and you'll get another one yeah. as you're leaving, and they'll give you that glorious one star bit. So, yeah, not a bad idea just to forget about it. Uh, with that, yep, freeze flying two right here. Got some more ice skating coming up. Yeah, and Ooh, a... Is, is freeze flame two or three the really uh, cool one? Yeah, uh, two's the one. It's got some big old skips oh, okay, in okay, there. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably my favorite star in the entire game. Yeah, it's 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 really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Showing a new, a new tech here as well that we haven't uh, seen yet at the very end. Talk about it later. I actually don't know which of the strats you're going for I here. So <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Um, <laughs> right here, it's a little subtle uh, piece of tech, but whenever he spins into these, he then drops into neutral so that he doesn't move forward, and that allows you a little bit of time for the star chip to actually like be active in its hitbox, so that he can keep his momentum going forward. Yeah, otherwise would you just, you would just go through them. Right, so there's a number of different skips he could elect to use right here. Well, uh, I'm just going to sit back and wait to see which one he uses. And I'm hoping for one. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint, I think. No, they're all cool. They're all cool, but I'll still be disappointed. Yeah. Normally they want you to like unlock a whole power up here. No, we're just going to get on top here, jump straight over to the other side of the planet. And then, and then we're going to uh, get over here. Just go over here. Gravity! I'll take it. I'll take a damage boost here. Oh, nice. And then here, you want to keep spinning. It yeah. looks like you could time it, but you want to just spin as fast as you can because it buffers the inputs, and then you you actually gain height. And you Yo, can just right into the star. Right into the star, yeah. Yeah, there's an alternative strap you can go for there. It's much riskier. It saves, like, 
almost no tags. It's the same time. That I he think it's, it's the same. It's the same. It just looks like <laughs> it looks. I mean, that was some cool stuff right there, but it just looks even cooler. Uh, but it requires you to pick up extra health in order to even make it work. You just do a lot of damage boost. Yeah. You hit a slant in the lava, and it messes up like the gravity completely. You just fly. <laughs> you just the go level. flying. <laughs> But here we are, uh, our second Cosmic Luigi race. Again, Cosmic Luigis are much faster against Luigi than they are for Cosmic Mario, or uh, on Mario's campaign. Um, so this is actually uh, one of the toughest, for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, with the utilization of those long jumps um, in the ice skating, uh, should be able to trivialize it to at least a certain extent. One star bit for good luck. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, just have a, it. It's pretty basic when when you start running the game. Oh, there, nice. we, there we got the good start. Yeah, and getting getting that good start and then the movement afterwards is super awkward because instantly you're going off of the platform. Yeah. You have to anticipate that you're gonna get the good start, or you'll die if you don't. You just run right off the edge. Right here at the end. Good try. Oh, nice. I got rid of his star bits yep. on top of that. <laughs> Can be a bit confusing doing two things at once. Trying to not collect star bits and shoot them away. And also move Luigi around. And with that, we go into our final star freeze flame. Freeze flame three. It's funny that you see that secret path or whatever you want to call it for Cosmic Luigi first. Because yeah. that's the main thing at the end of this star, actually. Spoiler. Sorry, gosh. No, it's different though. It's got. Uh, <laughs> uh, right off the bat, this first planet right here. Supposed to, you know, ice skate all the way around, dodge all this lava and stuff. Uh, instead, he's just going to jump from one side to the other, which can be really awkward with the gravity and the camera sw oh, swapping yeah. here. Just go around. Uh, yeah, you can see the awkwardness, but instead, here we go. This, this one's cool, too. Yeah, this is the planet that can be difficult to do correctly to one cycle. Uh, they want you to go to the other side and grab the fire flower power up um, and bring it back over. But uh, it can be, your movement's got to be pretty good to get back here all the way and get both the torches in one go. But again, utilizing that gravity, getting pretty far. Yeah, so he's trying to make this kind of one consistent movement and then long jump from the top of this specifically because we in orbit again <laughs> yeah so that saves a lot of time doing that long jump make trivializing this quite a bit actually making this cycle yeah so much time left yeah when you carry it that far you know you had good movement there again utilizing another landing cancel again he's been doing landing cancels all over the place so now, needless to say, if you don't have this ice power up, that uh, the lava's going to deal a lot of damage to you. He's going to try to skip them as he goes, though. And okay, we need one of them to make it to the end. Chain and chain and chain and. Nah, uh, I could do it. I was about to say, <laughs> just don't worry. Shouldn't worry about it too much. Sometimes when you're trying to shoot away Starbits there, I've then died yeah. out of the effort of it. <laughs> It's like, man, just take the second. Uh, and with that, we're actually done with uh, both of the main levels here, and we're going to be moving into a Honey Climb, I think it's called. Honey Climb, yes. Only yes. 16 stars to go for the last level unlock. It's so... Time flies so fast when I play this game. Mm -hmm. I've been running it for so long, and I still absolutely enjoy running it. Not many games can do this. Definitely. What's, what's your guys' uh, game that you can play for the longest and still didn't get sick of? Oh my gosh. I actually, Galaxy would honestly be up yeah. there for me. I love this really? game quite a bit. It's, I mean, I love Mario 64 definitely as a speed run. I've got nostalgia for it, but this game is so clean. It's got so many cool, just natural speed run strats. Probably everyone when they played this game the first time, you did strats. Oh yeah. Um, I still always Pokemon. Oh yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, Red and Pokemon's Blue. a good one to go for it. Any 3D Mario that isn't Sunshine, probably for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have the uh, Super Mario Sunshine fan club sitting here on the couch today. 
<laughs> yeah, Sunshine, uh, we have some... Uh, you like Sunshine, don't you, Chris? Well, uh, it was one of your first speed games. It was one of my first speed games. It was uh, one of your I played first it mistakes. for uh, a very, very, very long time. And now I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a tough one. <laughs> It's a tough one to stay at a high level, that's for sure. As you can see right here, this is a great level for star bit collecting. If for some reason you were short on your 600 star bits, you can pick up like almost 200 here very easily. I still enjoy Sunshine Bingo because it, you don't have oh, the yeah. pressure of like trying to PB. Mm -hmm. Because Sunshine is actually a fun game, but speedrunning it is just so frustrating to me nowadays. Yeah, I've seen some walkout bingos for those. It seems really cool. Yeah. It's also just a subtle piece of tech he's using right here to not have to float as much in between them. Just kind of tapping it makes you go a lot further as opposed to just holding down the button. So he gets to skip over a lot more platforms. Um, with that, we're going into our final level of uh, the fourth warp, the bedroom. We're going to be doing our second Bowser fight, which, again, the game is checking for two things to allow you to go beat the game. You need 60 stars total, but you also need to beat two Bowsers. Yeah, I don't think it's actually possible to get 60 stars before beating this boss. I, I don't I, think so. I don't even know. if we did the great Dusty Dude. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you do need to clear him out here. Otherwise, you just... Yeah, otherwise they're not going to start the countdown to 60 stars. This level is really impressive, I would say. Yes, definitely one of the most difficult stars in the entire run, entire game in general. Um, some crazy gravity skips we're going to be trying to utilize here. You just see, remember this set of platforms right there. Yes. Or really that one right there. <laughs> and the SM64 Bowser music again. Trying to catch some cycles here. Uh, coming up with this next little section. Uh, oh, wait, after this section. I'm getting that order. Chaining it off of the Goomba right there. This triple jump can be really tricky coming You can't in. ledge grab or wall kick that one, so you need to get a lot of height for that. Yeah. You can make it with a backflip, but it's a lot slower to just set up oh. for that. And try to get right on the railing there to avoid that, uh, that dark oh. matter. Um, again, trying to, a lot of times you'll do that when you're trying to set up a long jump. You'll backflip instead just because Luigi hasn't quite started moving yet due to how slippery he is. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like the crowd right there. Ooh. Uh, so coming up here is one of the coolest skips in the entire run. First off, just land right there, and then hopefully he does it. Here we go. No. Aww. Yeah. That's so weird when Yeah, that I know. He just decided to go the other way, sadly. It almost feels like you hit an invisible ceiling right there that just pushes you back down. Thankfully, he can go for it again right here. Oh, I usually wait so I can land on this right away. Okay, I'm going to go for this as well until I get it. There you go. Nice. So that, I think that was my second death, and once again, for every time I die in this run, I'll donate $10, ten to the charity myself as well. Matching as well. And again, I always like for these sorts of things, nice skipping over all those. Normally, you break those crystals, it gives you more stairs to go up. Uh, any of these sorts of games that we always play here, where it's like, oh, for every death or whatever, uh, we donate X amount of dollars. Even if you guys can just do a couple of dollars for that, $5, $1, whatever denomination, uh, that's much appreciated, just more money to charity. You know, speaking of charity, we have already met the Taskbot breaking Super Monkey Ball wow. physics. Wow! We are awesome. we have broken that 7K. So good job, everybody! And then spinning him in the tail right there cancels out that animation. He does need to get up very quickly though in order to actually dodge that attack. Because if Bowser hits you right there, he'll start the attack over again. Not So it's not just damaging you, it's genuinely wasting time. And you can also see him getting up in his face and canceling that last attack. Uh, trying to line it up directly to where he lands on the blue cylinders. Once again, needs to get up pretty quickly to dodge this attack. I'm going to go one more time, canceling it out. Oh. That should still get it, still though. Works. All right, still worked. 
And now he's got it. Yeah, let's see uh, the where green it comes one. from. Okay. All right, that was a pretty good fight. Good stuff. I actually think the second Bowser is the hardest one. Oh, yeah. I think I so agree as well. with that. The third one uh, has a bit easier strats. Yeah, second Bowser is the only one that does that spin attack. But yeah, we got a big cutscene coming up, uh, Big John, if you want to go again. Yep. Yeah, we got like 100,000 million donations now. <laughs> Dang. Um, <laughs> I hope we've met everything by now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but oh, you said you were donating $10 for every death, right? Yes. yes. Okay, can I borrow your controller for a second? <laughs> um, we got ten dollars from Dennis. Says Chrism on Luigi Galaxy Spike on the couch and Big John announcements. What a stellar run to wake up to. Donation to my choice. Uh, Twenty dollars from Chris. Shout out to my girlfriend Marion, who is watching this with me with great envy after how long it took us to complete it. Good luck to all the runners. Fifteen from Silver Bean says so happy I could catch a second or two to watch Chrism run SMG. I was worried I wouldn't see any of it because of my college classes being all in the morning, but I made it. I will donate ten more dollars if Chrism and the couch can give their best Luma impressions. Uh, it should come up soon uh, so we can yeah. we can listen to it. I was about to say I need a <laughs> I'm gonna need a cheat sheet. And we got one more big one. We got five hundred and two dollars from Fuzzy Commando. Nice. Fuzzy says, shouts out to the entire 502 crew and our honorary 502 crew members, Big John and Spike. Thanks okay. for bringing back crowd cam and let's keep going strong into the weekend. So yeah, now that we have defeated the two Bowsers, it gives us this star counter. Uh, some people might not know it from playing the game casually just because you're going to go and get all the main stars. From here, it does not care which stars you get. You can get any 14 stars and go to the final Bowser. Um, there's a, uh, there is a boss in this fifth dome, the engine room, coming up. We're never going to have to go fight him. Or at least we elect to not have to go fight him. And we said he needs 600 star bits for the rest of the game. Yeah, we're already he done. is good. That's, that's usually the case coming into this dome, especially since you did the Honey Climb Galaxy, which gives you like 150 for almost nothing. So with that, we're, uh, we're going to be utilizing all three of these main levels to fill out our last 14 stars, starting with Gold Leaf. Okay, I want to try the, the Black Goomba impression. Uh, not Goomba, Luma. <laughs> I was going to say, what? <laughs> there was a... Mm. Was that good? That was 10 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it, right? <laughs> Worth it. At least five. Okay. All right, once again, this is, a, this is a galaxy that is a very, I mean, not reset heavy, but just run killer worthy. Uh, lots of things you got to go for here. Very movement heavy to get up to, utilizing tricks to get these five star chips. This triple jump I automatically find like pretty awkward because the camera doesn't pan up till the last second. And again, if you spin right next to the wall, it'll cancel you out. Jump down here for the second one real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to say, clip the ground right there. Could have been a little scarier. And we'll see. There's a couple of different routes you can take for getting up to this. Looks like he's electing to go for the third one. I actually didn't know you could straight do that with a backflip. I found that out a couple days ago as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Long jumping out, skipping over, having to use anything to flip your way up to that uh, star chip. Yo, <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> Almost always that piranha plant's going to bite you. The other one but his though. buddy showed up. <laughs> gonna kill you all. Yeah, kill them all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. Oh. Uh, now we need to be careful with the boulders. Uh, no, They're and giving us a fight for sure. Right here, cool trick. Just aim the camera up. You can still point at it and then have oh, to do hello. less. Than, oh, we're going a little, a little overzealous there. <laughs> Just off into nothing. All right, so we got nine star bits to work with. This bunny sucks if you try to do it with Mario. Luigi, though, is faster than the bunnies. So he's going to try to shoot it, though. And oh. oh, no. Oh, the bunny of doom. Oh, the backup yeah, shot, though. <laughs> yeah, this one is, is a bit faster than the first bunnies we caught. It's really annoying. Yeah. Yeah, so with Luigi, that's like an annoyance that it gets when you have to chase him down. With Mario, it is torture. <laughs> Pure torture. There's some platforms you can race, so you can, you can force him into a wall and then catch him there. Torture. Tor <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, gold leaf. Gold leaf. S. I've got it here, as anyway. Or S. You skipped some splits here, so I think you might have done uh, it. Uh, I don't know, at least that's what I'm going out of here. I think here. at this point, it, it shouldn't I, matter. I, it shouldn't matter, yeah. 
Yes. If you all don't mind, of course. Let's sneak in a somewhat generous donation from the Yeti of oh. just a little $35,528. Wow. That's crazy. That's a big one. Is that the biggest donation? I was going to say, is that the biggest donation of all time? It's so big. Hey, all, Yeti here. Thank you for your tremendous support. Because of your orders of shirts, pins, posters, and more, we've raised over $75,000 for Prevent Cancer Foundation. A special thanks to the artists who have worked with us over the years, donating their craft to benefit all the great causes. Games Done Quick supports. Let's hit that million, and we're only hundred and just under 137000 away, so let's see if we can hit that seven-digit mark. Yeah, we can do that. No big deal. <laughs> I just gotta die like two thousand more times, and we're we're in there. <laughs> if that's everyone, a, go ahead. That's not if even everyone enough. in chat could just donate thirty-five thousand dollars. You dollars, real quick. We'd be rich. Yeah. I would demand a cut at that point. <laughs> I want one of those viewers thirty-five thousand. <laughs> the rest can go to charity. The last star he did right there is always like the subtly most like pog champ star in the run. Just like, oh, because usually, you know, you know, you're going around, you're missing everything. Nah, dude, that just sounds like a song. Okay, this There's, star sucks. This star sucks. Yeah, there's so many skips here that are way too hard. Yeah, I I, I think this is like a good game for just like overall hardest star in any percent, maybe just in the game. Yeah. Gonna start off right here. Wanted to make sure that he gets flicked facing the camera so that it's easier for him to kick off of the wall. Right here, he's gonna skip having to use the Cataquack here and just triple jump up to this platform. And then, debatably, the hardest oh. trick right here. Oh, get in the back up though, very nice. Everyone's got their own setup for doing the triple jump uh, up I'll here. Do it, I'll do it over here on that box. Yeah, we're gonna line it up and then go off the camera. Second try is really good there. That is a moronically stupid trick, believe it or not. And then here, getting up to this star is very tricky with Mario once again, but Luigi has a higher single jump, so it's no big deal. The only time I spin the nunchuck for that one. He can barely catch the tip of it. Well, trying to elongate that as much as possible. Nice star. It is r way too easy to lose a lot of time on that star, honestly. Yeah. Even on the last platform, if you miss the star right away, you just spin and have to fly around until you get it. Uh, next star coming up here is another one. We get, it's uh, another uh, boss fight at the end, pretty quick one, but uh, it's this got a lot of really cool vertical movement to get there. This might be my favorite uh, star in the game. The yeah. movement is, in, is really cool. The entire level focuses on using the B power-up, but not even yeah. once. Yeah, never going to use it here. Uh, instead, he's first going to make a beeline. <laughs> um, uh. <laughs> didn't even think of that beforehand. Uh, he's going to make a, I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone in tech was just like, I hate you. Um, <laughs> going to make his way up to this tree over here. <laughs> OK, that was a thumb. I had to confirm which finger that was shooting up in the air. Um, but yeah, he's going to make his way over to this tree. The camera really sucks. It's automatically going to flip its way around. So he has to do a little bit of blind movement here, including this wall kick. Nice. Very nice getting that first try. That is not easy to do. And now immediately going into this movement, you know, they see they want you to use the B power up there. Screw that. Angle this, bounce off of that, into a wall kick, getting up there. And just like that, we're at the top of the tower very quickly. Uh, oh, oh, no. Okay. I didn't skip the cutscene. I've still never done that. I don't know what you have to do. But you can skip that cutscene. And it not only skips the cutscene, it skips the trigger for this boss starting. So he just sits there and just takes it like a man. And as you can see, the backflip able to trivialize this. He wants to get up here pretty quickly, though. Very nice. Skipping over, having to wait through those bubbles. That was really good. That whole star, very good. I, yeah. It's it's very tough doing the movement for the, for the whole level perfectly. Especially the first tree jump, it's so tricky. And as tricky as that tree jump was, it's about to get a little trickier. 
Uh, the camera there, you know, we get used to that setup because at least it's like kind of a straight on angle. We know we just have kind of an internal clock of when to spin and not bonk on the tree and everything. Uh, we're doing it again here for the Cosmic Luigi race. Uh, this is definitely, I think this is the easiest one to lose. He only gets a couple of failures at trying to do this kick off the tree. Um, otherwise, he's going to, I think you get like, you get like three tries. Three attempts. If you, if you fail it three times, I think Luigi wins. Like Cosmic Luigi wins before you. Yeah, but the cam camera, for some reason, entirely different in, in this yeah. level than the level we just did. Even though it's the same map for and everything. For no reason, yeah. So he has to have a little bit of a different setup in order to do it. Didn't get the boost. That's going to make this even harder. Now it's almost for sure going to be he's only going to get three tries. Uh oh. Oh, got nice. away for a very nice. That's yeah, the angles. The angles are very tricky. I, like, you need to be so careful that you angle yourself towards that wall we just wall kicked at the end. Otherwise, they just slide off where you bonk or whatever. So that does it for Gold Leaf. Now we're moving to the second main stage of this final area. We've got Toy Time. Uh, maybe casually, this is just straight up my favorite stage. Toy just time. Really fun to move through it. Um, it's got, you know, good throwback music and everything. Just nice, big, colorful stage. Uh, to grab four stars here, starting off with uh, Toy Time 1. Another one with a lot of really cool movement. Really cool skips, especially uh, the last one in this level. Yeah. <laughs> the best part about this star is that anybody who's played this game, uh, so if your favorite power-up was anything else, your least favorite power-up was Spring Suit. Um, yeah, they want you to use Spring Suit all over this level. Once again, like the B Suit in the last level, we're never going to use it. I almost forgot this existed for a split <laughs> second. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't completely skip it in 120 star, but here in 80%, we have the luxury yep, of never not, having to use it. Not even gonna get the spring power up once, even though the entire like second half of it is designed for it. Skipping his way up to this piece of the gravity. And then instead of falling back down here, he's just gonna do a long jump across, giving him just enough distance to skip right into that little hole. Yeah, starting here, you're supposed to be using the spring suit to do any of this vertical yeah, it's climbing. Yeah, isn't that coin? We're just gonna not. Oh, just, we'll just cut off the commentary, let you guys enjoy the movement a little bit. Okay, he just traded position. <laughs> <laughs> While you're wicking your way to that ball stand, I want to just give you a little update on something. Just like one of you awesome people decide to shift your money towards another incentive instead. It, which means we have not unlocked that Taskbot Super Monkey Ball physics block. So, yeah, find that person. So that means we're still about 2,500 short now for it. So if you still want to see it, don't pop the tires of that guy who decided to change where he wanted to put his money towards. But you can still make it happen. We still have got time to see that Taskbot destroy Super Monkey Ball physics. Get up there. Yeah, you yeah. guys should donate for this inevitable first try armpit skip. Armpit we got right skip. Here. This is really difficult because the camera is so awkward. Oh, we're making it look try. easy so far. Isn't quite all the way up here. Nope. Yeah, it's very hard. Trying to not bonk that ceiling right there. Oh, dodging the, dodging the, dodging the <laughs> thing. Uh, and really nice climb. Yes. Skip so many parts of it. Again, spring suit's supposed to be used that entire level. Screw that. But as Big John just said right there, $2,500 needed for that Taskbot showcase. Make sure to get in your donations, guys. All right, we got, I think, eight stars to go for the very end. I, I have no idea if I'm on, on good pace or anything. Uh, no good. splits in front of me. Uh, pretty solid run so far. I we think got it's two deaths. pretty solid. My goal was to beat my HDQ time from 2016, which was a 240. 
30. Oh, where are we going? Here? Uh, Toy Time S. Yeah. He's got to unlock uh, C Slide there later anyway, so it doesn't actually lose the, him the any time. time. Yeah. Dusty Dune is like the only level we completely ignore. Just the, yeah. Which makes it to where it, it kind of tightens up the route where we got to get most other stars from every other galaxy. But uh, like Dusty Dune 1, I think, is like a four minute star yeah, the first simple. time. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. All of them are actually super long. Yeah, there are, there's a really like a fast one there. Uh, but with that, we're going to go ahead. Once again, instead of doing the main path right here, we're going to do uh, two from a side path effectively first, um, grabbing the secret here. So it's going to be important, even though he already has enough star bits for the f final Hungry Luma uh, outside the level, he wanted 50 here. And nice to already grab all of those. It's, a, it's subtle, but it's pretty easy to miss a lot of those star bits when flying in. It is and then you're running around trying to fill out the 50 star bit quota. At that point, you can option just to go do the second, like, toy time two. Um, but yeah, not, not ideal, obviously. And is this the plan? Yeah. Yep. Cyclones, baby. A lot of people don't like this one. It's, uh, it's pretty tough. And the, the gravity around these things can be a bit tricky. It's funny, you're going to do it here, and then you're going to do it at double speed in the next level. I don't know about you, Chrism. I actually find the double speed easier. It sucks as long as you have to wait for each of these. Yeah, true. It could convince you that, like, oh, I can make that cycle. And then even if not just uh, them flattening you, just, like, their corners can kill you as well if you're just a little bit off. Movement's pretty good so far, though. You don't want to hug them when they're moving, because sometimes they ju you just get squished even though you're not even under them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I sneaked under there. Like Ooh. That. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know you could do that. I can't see. Oh, shouts to the camera, guys. All right. Pretty solid moving all the way throughout that. I got another one. It's really easy to lose time to top players. Yeah. yeah it's cool that you can, like, jump right before the spikes get to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did not know you could do that. Um, but I yeah, think, I think just in the corners. That's what I usually do. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to jump right back in there for another fast cyclone comet. Again, I love the fact that there's so many different. You know, we got the cosmic Luigi race comet, uh, the fast cyclone comets, the daredevil comets. Yeah, one of the only ones we're never doing here. Um, will be, uh, oh, we actually do Toy Time 2 first, my bad. Uh, one of the only ones we don't do is the speedrun <laughs> comet. They're just full stages and not very fast. Luigi meets Mario. Is it the other way around? In, in Mario, Mario, meet, Mario meets Luigi, I think. They actually changed the name of the star for this one? Yeah. I, I, think. I think it's just Mario meets Mario. Oh. Uh, okay. I got some new stress with this one, too. Some cool gravity skips. So I'll go this way. Yo, Chris, I'm bringing those new stress to HQ 2016. Powering up. Check this. Oh, I know. That's cool. That's another. I'm gonna clap for that one. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, another single jump there, in order to just get over that little dip right there. Oh, I didn't get the bounce. I wanted to bounce off that guy. And yeah. One of the most hated planets coming up. This one with the purple <laughs> coins. A lot of people struggled with this one. Oh. I personally, it was like, I had three stars left, and this was one of them in my first playthrough. I just couldn't do it. Oh, bad angle. Yeah, yeah, not this star we're doing right now. This one's not too bad. It's uh, later on. Uh, in any percent, the best part about Super Mario Galaxy, any percent, you never have to mess with purple coins. Um, there'll just be levels uh, going through each of these main levels and having to kill like 100 purple coins. Some of them are scavenger hunts. Some of them are this level where there's like 150 of them scattered throughout the level. And the platforms, as you see, you touch them, they start flipping, they start disappearing. It's a real nightmare to get through there and get all those purple coins. A candidate for like hardest star casually in this game. Agreed. And not really any easier in a speedrun setting. Okay, because I'm uh, preparing for worst case, I'm actually going to do a save here. Just in case, I don't know, my console explodes or something. <laughs> well, that wouldn't help. Never mind. <laughs> but if the game crashes or something. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, you're ready to do the comet. I'll do it after this one. 
it actually, okay, super jinx incoming. It, and then the game never crashed for me before. <laughs> um, uh, but sometimes, it happened like twice to me that the loading time increased by like 30 seconds per, oh. like, loading back to Star Observatory. So you'd like just sit there and like, what the hell is happening? Black screen. <laughs> That's weird. And Has then it been eventually recently? loaded. Hmm? Was it recently that happened? Uh, not not recently, no. Oh, okay. So once again, as you can see, I mean, pretty obvious. They move a lot faster. Again, a lot of times what'll kill you here won't be necessarily getting flattened by their flat parts. It'll be just like the corners of like their teeth, effectively, as you're trying to slip in here and hit each of these. I usually wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I am ten dollars richer. All right. <laughs> What's, I actually like it more so for these platforms because they just get out of your way a lot faster when you're trying to catch these cycles. One more set here. Ooh. Nice. Dodging them all, nice. nice. And a weird camera for the star. Something you're gonna get used to that Everything's upside down, and uh, you you don't have to uh, hold up to go up. Sometimes you have to hold down to go up, and it's it's a bit weird. Three more stars in the final galaxy. The uh, there are five stars here, like in uh, most of the galaxies. Uh, before again, getting our one saving. You can see it takes a few seconds each time, so it does save a lot of time not having to save all the way throughout the run. Um, only three stars are going to be fast enough for us here. Um, some of just the, the coolest looking tech, not just uh, on your screen, but also on camera. Make sure to watch. Um, yeah, introducing a new uh, strat or glitch here that's very fast. Yeah, you might be able to see just a little bit of it here right at the start. Um, you're going to see it on display much more in the, two, in the second and third stars we're going to be doing here. Uh, not for this one, I just long jump. Yeah, for this one. Okay, I don't know if you did it. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, this one doesn't matter. You can just utilize this nice little uh, side in order to get over to the cutscene. And the guppy. Well, you'll see an emote in chat now that it's called Chris Grin. <laughs> <laughs> a real happy dude. Uh, but that this is just effectively a glorified auto scroller before you have to do the last handful of stars in the run. Uh, so time to kind of calm down if you're on good pace or anything. Um, I always love how these have brake lights on them. Pretty sick. Yep. Oh, with that, Big John, I know we got some incentives we got to meet, so go ahead and read some donations during this, my man. All right. Well, since you brought up Chris Grin, we have a $52 donation from Chris Grin 62 <laughs> <laughs> Chris Grin is incoming for the Super Mario guys to run by Chris Grintings from Germany. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> We have uh, four hundred twenty dollars and sixty nine cents from <laughs> Ark Holmes. <laughs> Who says had to donate during Mario Galaxy to make sure we see Taskbot break Super Monkey Ball? How do I go? I'll round up the five hundred dollars if the crowd tells me how nice this amount is. And uh, thanks to in part by viewers like you, we have again met the Taskbot breaking Super uh, Mario Brothers again. physics incentive. <laughs> We have again. Now, don't y'all be slick and change your mind now. All right. So, uh, thank you again for being there. And, of course, $650 as well from Lip Le Hablen. <laughs> what was that? He's German. <laughs> Ach, der Liebe. Says, Guten Tag. No, he says, hello, I am from Germany, and this is my first donation. Thanks a lot for this great event and the incredible achievements of the runners for the common fight against cancer. I can't remember the last time someone donated with someone from Germany, and I believed it was actually someone from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Is the greetings from Germany meme still going strong? <laughs> All right, so again, got the glorified auto scroller out of the way here first. Our fourth and final Cosmic Luigi, another candidate for hardest one. Uh, he's going to be going for a really cool piece of speed tech called surface swimming here. Um, where, I don't know, Pants, do you know how this works or anything? No idea. Okay. Um, uh, it's like when, when you hit the surface, it does the... Uh, kind of the dolphin the jump of sorts. No, the health refill. Oh, yeah. And during the health refill, you can, like, stay in that state somehow. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can get above water, which has a nice benefit because, again, we talked about how quickly your air meter runs out as Luigi. You're going to just stay at full the whole time. But you also just move faster being on the surface if we're able to activate this glitch. I, so hope, I hope I can get it right away. It's not yeah. this. It's, it's not a this lot thing. of shaking. So. Getting the boost to get in front of him, that's good starting off. He's going to try to get underwater and then try to just barely get above the surface. Start. Okay, here we go. Was very fast. You gotta dodge everything though, so and it's pretty hard to control. Uh, you cannot time these. You have to. Uh, you have to mash the shake, otherwise you, you drop it. That was really good. Second try getting that surface swim. Because again, it saves so much time. You just want to go for it constantly, and if you you're kind of committing to it, so if you don't get it after a certain number of tries, you're just gonna lose that race. Yeah. It takes you a long time. And we'll, we'll have to do the same thing again. This is the uh, most physically exhausting stage. <laughs> In all of speedrunning. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, to get him to do that spin, you have to shake the Wiimote, um, even if you're just underwater. And it also switches up what you have to do, because the path you take here on this race, you're not just on the surface the entire time. Um, so he's going to try to start off a surface swim, then go underneath for a while, and then start another surface swim at the end. So he's got to hit two surface swims oh, here. And also, this is a contest uh, star. So if you can, if you want to guess the times again for for the penguin race, you can you can do uh, so. You can win points. Here. Fifty. 57, 57, I forgot. No, but it's lo lower than that. Like fifty four. Oh one. Yeah. Uh, fifty two ninety seven. I'll give you a 51.50. Yeah, and trying to start off with these surface swims again pretty easily to bonk onto things. It is hard to control. Okay, so able to get it there. He's going to get a little bit of out here. But then he's going to have to dive back underwater because just, just there's not a flat surface right there for him to work with. He's going to try to keep this spin going the whole time. Again, you're seeing uh, we're never using the shell here. It's just slower. He used it in the first stage just because it's an auto scroll. He had to wait for everything. Uh, come up here just in time to get his health back, or just go ahead and go through here. We're going to run through this bubble, giving us that health back and refilling our air. No problem. Again, uh, keep an eye on that webcam we got going for you guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what part the TV cuts off, or the webcam cuts off right there. Uh, again, oh, no. trying to set up for another surface swim. Again, you can go for it an infinite amount of times. Oh, my God. Oh, on. my God. Oh, my, my 54, I guess, was terrible. Your 52 was worse, though. Yeah. <laughs> I had faith for once. So oh, what? I should have stuck with a 57. That was OK. Oh, man. Uh, how are you feeling, Chrism? I'm OK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, clap for that. Look at the work this man is doing for charity for you guys. Yeah, I think my PB in this race is 10 seconds faster because you yeah. got the surface spins just first try. One of my favorite GDQ lines of all time. We were like, Chris, are you okay? And you were like, it burns. It burns. <laughs> the last time we did it. Uh, with that, we're actually done with the engine room. Again, there are more stars, including a boss you could fight there, uh, which some people might think it's required to get that grand star. Nope. You just need any 14 stars. Uh, with that, we have only two more stars we got to get. Uh, first off, we're going to feed our second and final hungry Luma with these uh, 600 other star bits we have. Um, for uh, also one of, I think, the harder galaxies to do well, uh, Drip Drop Galaxy. This one's really tough. Once again, things don't move when they're on camera, and you have to somehow figure out a route through this level that makes every elip appear in front of you. Messing it up is always bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like you have to hunt them down, and sometimes yeah, they get like ne never show up. Definitely a super rough star to have this play. It's actually, some people will like to do a different route where you saw how many star bits we had. Nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so how many star bits we ended up with. For just 200 more star bits, you could go to a different Hungry Luma stage, uh, which is extremely easy to do. There's a very trivial trick you can do to just kind of end that one almost instantly. Uh, but it is slower than doing this one well. So... We'll see if he's able to catch these three eels here. Again, when the eel is not on camera, they are not actually moving. So keep that in mind with his routing. All right, nice. Got the first one. Green shells do not home, unlike the red shells. Gonna try to catch this one in the butt. And then the other one is in the ship still, because he never moved. 
Oh, can we aim this one? Again, the greens don't home. Yo, that was really good. Very nice. nice. And the last star. We saw the final level. Yeah. Awesome. This is once again, <laughs> remember to talk to Mail Toad. <laughs> if you forget this one, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally the star you're going to do right now. The other one, it's a couple stars later, you actually get the Luigi star. So again, you might have wondered earlier in the run, eh, was it really worth it to go through that whole auto-scroller in Battle Rock to get that second Luigi star? If you don't do that, it doesn't unlock the ability to get this one. This one's still best. Yeah, and this one's similar to the first one. Very, very quick. We'll be heading our way over here. Um, after this, uh, we're going to have a, a rather lengthy cutscene to also send us into the final level. So uh, with that, Big John, go ahead and take it away for a little bit of time to read some donations, man. Alrighty, we have $10 anonymously donated. Happy to donate during this great gameplay by an awesome runner. Keep up the uh, good work for this great cause. Uh, $50 from Joe Daskus. Hello, AGDQ. I've been massively enjoying the runs during this event. The speed runs have been good, too. Here's to help, uh, helping as many people as we can avoid that misery that is cancer. Good luck to the runners. And uh, five dollars from Fully Cooly Gamer. Good luck out there, Chrism. You're totally killing it right now. Everyone there at AGQ has been working very hard and is totes appreciated. Also, hi, Abs. Sometimes you see me cover the front of the remote with my my wrist or with my fingers, so I don't accidentally collect star bits while I'm moving around. That is some sick. IRL tech. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I never thought to do that. Yeah, like like this. I, I usually do it. Oh, sorry, like this. Okay. Because it's when I'm sit comfortably, the the remote is just like pointing and sure. collecting stuff. And with that, we're going into this again. That does fill out our 60 stars. We're uh, about to fly off to the final level, which is a really cool. This is my favorite level, just to. I remember this was the one you naturally kind of did speedruns of as a kid, learning all the little subtle gravity tricks and everything you can do all the place. Really calls, it feels more like the Bowser stages like in Mario 64. Um, but then we got a cutscene here, so Big John, take it away, man. Alrighty, we have a hundred awesome. Kevin G says, I, I want to donate for the Monkey Ball Task Bot run before it's gone, gone. If it doesn't happen, it will make Mimi cry like a baby. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have uh, two dollars from Realist Dips. Says had to donate while my boy three sixty Chris is running a game. He is the reason I got into speed running, and I always love your run. Thank By you. the way, did you remember to charge your Wii most before the speed run? Chris <laughs> I actually, battery. I actually asked Tech for some batteries because mine weren't, weren't <laughs> charged. <laughs> it's always the same, man. It's right. You will run through some batteries running this game, yeah. dude. We got a dedicated emote in my channel for empty batteries. <laughs> there's not, there's no feeling quite like starting a run and then seeing low battery pop up <laughs> like two stars in and say, well, we're committed now. All right, so again, super cool stage. Right off the bat here at the beginning, he's going to be trying to catch this early cycle. Uh, these uh, lights, these uh, flashlights, or uh, these spotlights that come down in a way. Uh, they'll catch your gravity and allow you to walk on the wall. His first goal is going to be actually to get on top of those walls that you're seeing right there that we're zooming past uh, in order to then long jump across. So let's see if he's able to catch the early cycle. He's scary aiming that right there. Getting underneath here and then easily in time to catch this cycle. But we're not done yet. Dang. Ooh, the bonus. <laughs> yeah, that's really good, yeah. That's a really tough cycle to make, yeah. yeah. There is an invisible wall directly behind yeah. the platform he did. So that's why he jumped uh, slightly at an angle. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. Yeah, so they might confuse the first time. This is a pretty easy planet to die on right here. Trying to get this long jump off to the side. Oh, that's spin. Make sure, yeah. Throwing in that little safety spin, getting us to our next checkpoint. Now starting to move our way through here. You're going to see him kick off the wall to the left or to the right. Uh, oh, I got the, that weird. Ah, uh, okay. 
See, you were just oh, making sure I wasn't telling, I wasn't <laughs> lying about that. I could have still changed. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I know that was for me. Oh, the flame there also. Very fast movement through there. And then this planet is an absolute nightmare the first time you get here. Uh, getting those nice boosts off of those platforms because they start to lower, but as you go off them, they start to raise back up, and it gives him momentum going forward. Trying to catch all of these cycles, get around these bullet bills. He's going to go to the left here, and then once it's lined up with the camera, just get on top of the cannon instead, skipping over that whole section. We've had pretty good movement here so far. Let's see where we can clinch it out. Ooh, right into a triple jump. Oh. Really good. Really good. Like I said, this is such a fun level to do runs of. You actually even still got some platforming right here. Getting up these steps. He's very hard, yeah. Yeah, it's actually like a subtly hard uh, just piece of movement you got to do. Death stare. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and Bowser's just chilling. This movie is going to continue after this cutscene right here, so he has to basically keep the same thing going. Like I said, Number one. this is hard. Number two. Ooh. Okay, two. Right. <laughs> There's some some way you can long jump without like having to stop a single time, but I, I don't know how they do it. I'm convinced half the budget of this game went into Bowser's hair right yeah, there. Yeah, the hair. <laughs> Even his eyebrows. So good. <laughs> they. They even they kept it going in Odyssey too, like all like physics for the hair. Oh, he's looking so snazzy in Odyssey. Yeah. So that we have this incredibly epic boss fight with them going into three different phases, spanning across three different planets. Nothing you can really do to speed up this little phase right here, but you're trying to position yourself to catch him right on that first cycle when he flips his face around. I'm going to try to do the same thing here, just keep a consistent position to where he knows he can spin instantly and get the hit. Keeping that scar bit counter consistent, I'm liking it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the magic number, man. Off to the second phase, we're going to try to hit him with these green things that smack him. Um, you can also get a hit with just those as well coming around. And this positions him correctly oh. off of that to where he's right next to that one. Going and into final the final planet. Phase. Yep. Yeah. Dang, what a run. Oh, oh. <laughs> Such epic music, isn't it? Got to let him run this phase out. But taking that damage right there, which actually cancels the attack, saving a lot of time, actually. He spins around for a while. Again, got to read exactly where he's coming from here. It's nice. Came out of straight. Picking up health because he's going to try to do the same thing in this phase right here. Yeah, I'm going to let him spawn one of the flames. And I'm going to try to jump in this one to cancel his attack. Again, taking the damage, which just cancels out his attack, getting in position to get, make him come down on the last blue cylinder. Again, one more time, he's got to follow him around. Ooh, see, he's a bit of a jerk right there, but Chrisman was able to read it from the other side. Final hit. And that's it. Nice. Time, time is on the uh, final star grab. Wow, what a run. 236. That is beating my time from last year, uh, two years ago, by four minutes. That's I was about to ask <laughs> what your time was. Yeah, this is a really good run. Yeah, this is solid. With a lot of new cool strats one and of, One of the best runs I've ever done. Probably. What's your PB in this? Like a my PB is 234. Four, yeah, that's yeah. really, really strong. Yeah, it'll still be a 236. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you're trying to get a PB, you're always like, come on. <laughs> this yeah. one extra little twirl just ticks you off. <laughs> And done. Oh yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Such a good run. Yeah. Good Great thing. run, man. Good thing people voted for Mar uh, for Luigi because this would have ended <laughs> there horribly. Were a three thirty six if it had been Mario. <laughs> Yeah, Mario would have been, like, a good run of Mario for me would have been, like, a 245, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, Mario just naturally, because of the five minutes of the game, he adds a lot of time. And just subtle movement all over the place that he can't do. Really fun run. Thank you once again, uh, Spike, yeah, Pants, and Chen for couching. Uh, it was a blast. And thank you, GDQ, for having me once more. Hopefully I can come back again. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Woo! How about that sensational run from 360 Chrism, Super Mario Galaxy, uh, <laughs> Super Luigi Galaxy, let's get it right here. Fantastic job on that. And of course, uh, coming up in a little while, of course, we have basically our kind of like a little.